Hello ladies and gentlemen, or should I say hola ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a brand new network save. El Clasico is on. Stuart Irvine, introduce yourself and introduce your your quest, I suppose. Um, yeah, obviously, um, uh, obviously, if you watched the last episode um, of our, was it, yeah, we could say season one, if we're going to call it that, mm-hmm. with our, um, the, but pretty much ended in disaster for everyone involved. Well, <laughs> so, well. I mean, well, if it comes to, like, success, none of us done anything. Um, but, um, hey, I made Harry Kane a top class goalkeeper. And got sacked twice. Oh, well, details, details. Go on, who, who are you managing <laughs> and why? Well, um, as I said in that, if it was, I had a choice between that, uh, was it Real Madrid or Barcelona? But I tried, I decided to choose Real Madrid. Uh, purely for the fact that, um, as with Barcelona, it sort of feels like, um, uh, it's sort of built, as everyone well knows, it built around Messi. So, but with Real Madrid, it's kind of, it's much more of a challenge, I find. Uh, just because, obviously, they've just bought, like, Hazards and all that kind of stuff. And it would be interesting if I can, and it'd be, it has a bit more flexibility to build a more was a different tactic but Barcelona you have to play a certain way I think mm-hmm. so and also I just I don't know I just um I think at the moment when it comes to like if you look at real life like Real Madrid as much as they're not at like you know amazing they're not as they're not worse off than like Barcelona so like Real Madrid is much more it's a much more um fun job to do I guess if you were choosing between Barcelona and Real Madrid because you need a lot. You need to do a lot of work with that Barcelona side. Just, just saying. Well, as you can guess from the way he said it, we are doing an El Clasico save. He won technically due to reaching the FA Cup final and finishing above me in the league and not getting sacked. So he won last time. So he got to choose, like you said, and he did choose Real Madrid. But that means I'm Barcelona. And actually, looking at it, I'm not that upset because if you look in the Spanish first division. And look on the season preview. Barcelona are favourites for the title. And the Media Dream 11 has... Uh, I can't count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven players from the Barcelona team. So Barca are very highly rated on this. But what you expect nothing less. Come on, it's Barcelona. I mean... Um... I think with Barcelona, I find funny is like a, they're doing bad with their standards. Mm-hmm. But if you look at sort of like if you look at it in the sense of, um, well, if you look at just a normal, like outside the bubble of like the El Clasico and sort of Barcelona, they're not doing they're just, they're not doing too bad. No, you know. But it's like a, with the, with the expectations you have at clubs like Barcelona, it's like they're having a terrible season <laughs> in real life. But um, but in theory, they've, they've obviously got great players. I mean. Yeah. Barcelona. I mean, when you've got Messi, you've got a chance of winning anything, so. Yeah, for sure. I'm just looking at the team, and I mean, if it's Barcelona, you can only play one way. Tiki Taka, surely. Well, you got to bring it back, because obviously uh, they kind of haven't, I mean, Leicester's have ever been paying attention. Yeah, they've kind of got rid of it. Um, they're not doing it as good, because obviously when you lose to some like Iniesta and Zabi, they're not playing anymore. And hmm. um, that kind of it kind of um, messes up the system a little bit because obviously they're them being in that team just like made that whole system work really. Yeah. So the, with that, the so thing I, is that they they have very uh, they haven't got a lot of backup in the squad. I will say this much, but they do have some fabulous youth players: Nelson well, Semedo, uh, Junior Firpo, Ansu Fati, who I know turns into a brilliant game player in this game. By the way, I know he does. <laughs> In Southern Ireland. So I'm going to have to rely on youth a little bit. I mean, that's, to be fair, that's what people... Because um, I watched a lot of videos on Barcelona. Is that's what they're kind of saying they're not doing. Um, what made them great in them, like, you know, 2008 and sort of like, you know, when they pretty much like Barcelona and Spain pretty much dominated world football, mm. pretty much, with the ticket tacker is um, the kind of like most of the players came from the youth system. Mm-hmm. And it's like um, lately, it's just like they're not producing any good youngsters or like using them and sort of going very like sort of just buying high profile names. They're not really yeah. building anything. Um, so I think well, there's sorry, no doubt. Just, about... just 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 to interrupt your point, there's a goalkeeper in the squad with 15 free kick taking. 
Well, is he like is he like that? Was it Paraguayan goalkeeper no, that he's took all the free kicks and penalties? Valencia. He's called Neto, but he's just well. That's I mean, I'm not. I mean, I mean, free kicks. He would kill me when he concedes every time. Let's think. What would work? Hmm. Penalties. Lionel Messi, obviously. Vidal, I think Rakitic, Arthur. Oh, I've got Griezmann as well, and I yes. Who have I got? Let's, 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 look at, let's look at the team. Yeah, I'm thinking, what should I play? Should I play? Um, I'm thinking, obviously, I can play cake and pressing, but that never works if you haven't got the fitness levels. Mm -hmm. Control possession is fun, but it's kind of the basic one. I could always play. We could always do a thing like um, who does Tiki Taka better, but I'll probably lose that. So It's, um, not, it's not a Real Madrid thing, Tiki Taka, weirdly. I'm thinking counter-attacking because I think that's how they kind of work. Mm. Um because I think I was watching it, it's like it's they used to have they used to play four three three, but it's like how do you because obviously at the moment I've got um, basically when you got Hazard, you got if I can build a team around him, I should be able to get the best out of him. Yeah, but I need to figure out how to do that. But I think I think um I just think cat attacking will work, but or hmm, I should try that because obviously we're gonna go straight into like the league, so it's like we are. We have to... started this a lot later, so it will be. I'm gonna accept that current vision because duh. Um, yeah, yeah, we've got a game in a week's time. So the other people to watch out for are so you got Atletico Madrid, who are well, let's go very, Madrid, very good, aren't they? Um, has anyone actually made any transfers in the game? I think most Seven of eight. these transfers are legit. Happened in history. Yeah. No, nope, I haven't seen any. Um, yeah. Let's have a look. So let's we'll have a look what, at my we'll score. See what happens now. I mean. Well, I'm, the best one to look I'm, at is Man City. Have they signed anybody? Um, let's have a look. I can just see youth players, so I don't think okay, so. Okay, so you've got Benzema, you've got Cameron Benzema. It's always great. Ah, Hazard, you got... Is it James Rodriguez? Is old is my god. How many Rodriguez? underutilised player. Yeah, I mean, and you've got Isco. I've got Isco. Oh, Isco. I mean, you've obviously got... Uh, maybe I can get Bale playing great again, because obviously um, Zidane's been booted, so... Hmm. Um, there's no tension there in theory. <laughs> Do got a bit of Luka Mod. Oh, Luka Mod. I mean, the problem is I've got all these great players, but it's like, can I make? Hmm. Where, it's an interesting one. Where is Louis Barry? Probably on loan. It's the only reason I took the job. Where is he? Oh yeah, if he's not there, it's like you, you, the end of save. I'm gonna resign now. Bye. Where is he? Yeah. I think he's an IE. Let's have a look. He's not in the game. Unbelievable. What is this? Where is he? What's a Benzema testimonial? Why is he having a Benzema having a testimonial when he still plays? He's been at Real Madrid 10 years. Don't you have testimonies when you leave? No, it's if you've been there 10 years. Louis Barry's not in the game. What is this? Um, let, shall we Shall we get a game on the go? It's the, only, it's the best way to figure out your team, that is. Getting the game on the go. I've got Getafe first, by the way. I've got... I've got... El, oh, was it Elba? Elba? Ibar. Yeah, the basically the, the basically the nice little fact for it. That basically a team that's basically got the same, what was it, stadium and sort of like the same capacity as Cordy Town Stadium. Really? Yeah, I remember, I remember friends. So yeah, well, they, I mean, yeah, they've got an eight thousand seater Ipura. Well, it's similar, similar size. Maybe not. Obviously. <laughs> yeah. I know you mean well, that. I know you mean. their best player is a guy called Gonzalo Escalante. Um, what's your what's your expectations? What's the, what's the club culture of Barcelona? I'm curious because obviously mine's pretty much standard: buy big players, play attacking football, and just sign some youngsters for the first team. Mine's on about bringing in the youth academy. Yeah, same. I mean, uh, uh, once again, I've taken another job where it's, I've got a, I've got a minimum get to reach a final of a major competition. So, oh yeah, what's wow. mine actually on that? I should look at that. Uh, it's probably the same thing: board. minimum minimum final. So club, win the... club culture, play attacking and possession football. Tiki Taka does the business. It does say sign high reputation players, but it's giving me, Same. you know, eight million pounds. So that's not happening. Develop players using the club's youth system. I can do that. Maintain the club status as the biggest team in the world and maintain the best youth system in the world. Maintain the club status as the most reputable team in Spain. So it's all about... Uh, um, sort of name value at the minute. Uh, end current season. Win the Champions League. Win the La Liga. And they don't care about the Super Cup. 
So I, I love, I love that. I love- I love that. It's like basically we've got the pretty much the same sort of goals, mm-hmm. but instead of you, your Barcelona's expectation is to win it. Mm-hmm. Um, my, the only expectation they want me is to get to the final. So, but they want us to win more between La Liga. But if if, 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 if anyone rightly said is um, that's that's it, except that um, is that um, we are Madrid. It's like and Barcelona. It's like normally in other countries, winning the league is like the fight is to the find is a good season. Mm-hmm. But with Barcelona, Real Madrid, and stuff, they win the, the like La Liga, but they're not not do well in the Champions League. It's considered a bad season. Yeah, it's really weird. The Real Madrid and Barcelona, are a really weird run club. You know? Yeah, yeah. I'm just debating whether I want to play Griezmann in in a sort of advanced playmaker role or play Lionel Messi in the middle. Well, who's up? I haven't looked at Barcelona score in a while. So, like, is it is it a four two three one? I assume, or is it a four three three? That's what I'm looking at. So, I've got to get the best out of a front four of Lionel Messi, Antoine Griezmann, um, Dembele, and Suarez. So, I mean, I'm relying on Luis Suarez a lot to get goals. To be honest, Luis Suarez and Messi. But see, Griezmann in there is a bit of a weird fit. So, he's best as a striker. He can play off the right to a point, but that's about it. He's better as a striker. And it's like, it doesn't quite fit. I think. Ooh, no, I can't use that. Um, it's a control possession. I can always do, um, I think, 4 2 three, one. Or I can do, hmm, I think. Focus play down the right to get ball to Messi. Let's that's, 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 that's just put something out there and it's, yeah. Oh no! Don't do this. Oh, here we go. Okay, so let's have a look. So, obviously, I've got the one of the worst keep. <laughs> I've got one of the most mistake-driven keepers in world football. And uh, not necessarily on the game, though. Thibaut Courtois. But I'm really tempted to put this other guy. Was it um, the, the backup keeper? Who Navas? Um, he's, he's, is it Navas? It's not no, Navas, is it? No, Brady? it's. Oh, is it Arbut? Ar- oh, Ariola. Yeah, it's like um, he's like he's a bit less stars, like half star or less, but. He's still, I think for the system I want, he could work. Because I'm assuming it's like he's good on his feet. And that sounds silly for a keeper these days, but. Yeah, but so is Courtois. He's a sweeper keeper. 13 uh, passing, 15 kicking. His first touch is a little low. I Genuinely, mm-hmm. a piece of advice would be stick with Courtois. Because the game, you got to remember, this sort of database was at the start of last season. Let's have a look at my. Think about De Gea in your, in your Man United save. How good was De Gea for you? True, he was. Um, yeah, it's a sweep of year. Got cut. Cut I don't know. Obviously, Ramos doing... But apparently, he's doing amazing. Hmm. I kind of wish I had bench. Philippe Coutinho back because he would be perfect for this role. Well, to be fair, I've got a feeling you could probably get the best out of him more than sort of like, you know, any Barcelona match. And you actually know how to play him in his best position. Yeah, exactly. I mean, is there anybody like Coutinho, else who man, could come him. in and do the business? Is the question. Someone we can bring in. That's fix. Oh crap! I've got what's his name? That guy that's um, hated in Serbia. Hated in Serbia. Luka Jovic. Luka Jovic. Twenty-one year old. Yeah, it's Jovic. like apparently he's hated. Good. But he's hated in his home country. In his country, Did apparently. Didn't know that. Well, apparently. Okay, well, we went back. It's all it's all about the quarantine stuff, right? Mm-hmm. Um, um, okay, so that's the thing. So who was that guy? I, I looked up that done better. Uh, was it him? Uh, obviously, I might have technically cheated by doing doing a bit of research. But um, you cheating? Surely not. <laughs> I know. What, what kind of terrible would person? Be great as well. Oh, I want to play an advanced. You know what? Griezmann's doing it. I think Griezmann's got all the ability to play. As an advanced playmaker, he could play, or he could play like shadow striker. Should we, oh, I might play him as a shadow striker. Why never, not? never seen a guy, never, never seen a guy so excited for management. I'm gonna play him as a shadow it. striker. I'm gonna train I, I, him there I, as well. Shadow striker, and he needs to improve nothing because he's bloody brilliant. I mean, look at this. I mean, I mean, attempt is like the weird thing about how, like with this one got. Co- got like hazard where he is 
it looked at something where like um he only plays better when someone's like running in mm-hmm. to open up space so we can go inside. Mm. And I don't think Coo was it Coos? Thomas Cruz? Cruz? Tony Cruz, yeah. Yeah, he doesn't really do that. Kind of like he's more of a he stays where he is sort of. It's good I good I guess, but hmm. Do you want to I remember him saying Go on. I remember there's another guy I think who's on here that um, works better. He's a bit more energetic, and maybe mm. I might try him. So the mm. weird thing is, I have never in my maybe 14 years managing on Football Manager, that I can remember anyway, never managed Lionel Messi. Ever. And I'm just looking at his stats, right? Listen to this. Dribbling, 20. Finishing, 20. First touch, 19. Passing, 20. Technique, 20. Flair, 20. Vision, 20. Composure, 18. Anticipation, 19. He, oh, oh, he's just brilliant. He's a five-star player as well. Five-star. Of course, because he oh, yeah. he's the best player in the world. At least he was at I mean, this point, for sure. I don't know. Best player in the world's a weird one right now. Mm, I you got Ronaldo, but I wouldn't put Ronaldo as best player in the world. And definitely not since he's gone to Juve. He's still good, but he's not anywhere near what he was hitting at Madrid. I mean, I mean, obviously I've got bias to it, but you could. I mean, I mean, could you sit there and say any of the Liverpool players in there, or is it just like, or am I just thinking, you know, I Liverpool fan here? But it's a hard one. It's a hard one. I don't think anyone's going to hit the numbers that Messi regularly does. Like even this year, he's missed like three months in, overall through injury, but he still hit amazing numbers. I'm just comparing Ronaldo and Messi in the game, just out of interest. And Messi is better. So the game thinks Messi's better. Ronaldo a lot less twenties, penalty taking twenty, determination twenty, and natural fitness twenty. But that's it. There's not much, uh-huh. enough, but shall we uh, Let's have a look. move it forward? Mm-hmm. Just, um, I think I've got myself two. I made a mistake of having two. I've got like two formations that could work. Oh. But depends where I want it. Uh, pretty much similar. It's just this. I do it all the time when I do these saves, where I do like either I have like um, I put like a, a back. Was it a midfield where I put like more defensively? To backs up the back four, or I put, or I put like you know a four three two one where it helps out the striker and be like a sort of playmaker type thing. Hmm. But when you've got Hazard, Bale, and Benzema, I mean, that's insane. By the way, I mean, well, you look at this team. I will, take, be, your, be struggling I will take your Hazard, Bale, and ben, Benzema, and I will give you Griezmann, Messi, and. But, and uh, Suarez it's going to be a hell of a battle and I tell you what that first El Clasico which is set for like in two months time oh I can't, finally we can finally it seems like um, we can be an even even footing mm. I mean because that last two wasn't fair because it's like one was like you bottom a league and then the other one was just like halfway through joining another club yeah we never so... really really managed to battle together did we Nah, and it'd also be more fun because I got a feeling because um, again that thing so save is basically like I put it much point one it halfway through it um, because it's like Champions League with Spurs, but then PSG ruined me. Oh PSG! Next. If I get PSG this year, revenge will be on the cards. All right, well, here we go. Nice stuff to my manager. Yeah, I'm gonna expect us to win the league. Yeah, because if they if they if they're against if they're against that. Then what kind of yeah, yeah, exactly. They're all happy. Everything's green. It's incredible. I have never seen it before. It's like you got yeah, they like it. Yeah, a great response. Yeah, this yeah, should they're be all good. happy. I've, I've never managed Barcelona either. Ever. I've I think I've managed in Spain once. I think I did a Mallorca save once. But it's Barcelona like anything. It should be fun. Oh, I definitely did a save like, with Real Madrid. I'm oh, no. Oh, 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 you got an injury. Yeah, it's only out two. It's only got a bruised knee. It's, it's the most commonly. Yeah. I, yeah, that's the one I was thinking of because it's like um, apparently the way he plays is he's more of a. He runs inside more. Like, runs like sort of like runs at defenders when he gets a ball. Yeah. So it just, op- it just opens up play because obviously Hazard goes inside. 
He's more and of he a, just needs his space. He, he sort of protects the ball well, like Casemiro in a way, to be honest. So Spanish first division title odds. I am two to one on to win the league. Five, five to two. I mean, to do. He isn't far behind. I think he's very close I mean, between the two. I, I mean, if I was going to put my money on, I've, I'll put our money on that Mallorca. One, was it a thousand to one, mate? You know? And Mallorca, oh, Mallorca's expected to finish bottom. Poor Mallorca. I mean, just, Mallorca. Th- just think about it. You know, start a Leicester save, you know. Do, do a Leicester in Spain. Yeah, exactly. Um, any right, let's, let's check, let's... about taking the job? No, not at all. I think we have to win the league, yeah. I'm 24. Don't I'm actually 25 now, just, but don't worry about it. Just, just do me a favour. Mm-hmm. Um, don't do that. Don't, don't fall into the trap as most um, British managers do when they go to a foreign country and put an accent on. Oh, <laughs> accent. I, I will not put an accent. No, it won't happen. I mean, I am, but uh, you know, uh, yeah, I can't do it. I mean, it's just like I, I'll get it. It's like, was it the famous one? Was it, uh, was it, uh, Barton or Barton? It was but, um, Steve McLaren. Yeah, Steve McLaren. And what's the one where um, he's now Fleetwood manager? He used to be like Joy Barton. That's it. Right. Um, when he when he was in Spain, he was like putting on like this French accent. It's like why? I mean, or right. if you're in, if you're in another country, you can either speak your own uh, English or have the decency to learn their own language. Yeah. <laughs> Don't try and like mix in between the two. I mean, you only pick you normally pick up accents when you're there for like years, isn't it? Or like more than like a year. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe I'm just being harsh, but yeah, don't do it. Don't no, fall into the trap. Oh, I, I actually took Spanish in uni. Wow. I mean, to be fair, you got that in German. I took. I, t- I did. I took Spanish. I, I don't. I. I didn't learn anything. Well, because it's like. If I, if I knew we were doing this, I would have. I would have listened. <laughs> well, if you knew it was gonna. If well, if you knew it was gonna lead into some sort of like you know, um, managerial role. Then, um, exactly. I mean, to be fair, I would have definitely paid attention to this French if I knew it was going to get me like some, you know, football skills. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. Yep. Oh, so Spanish okay. first division top goal scorer odds: Messi, Suarez, Benzema, Iago Aspas, Griezmann, Hazard. It's definitely a two-team league. It feels, doesn't it? I am shocked, and you wonder why people like the Premier League more. Well, I mean, you've got Atletico, admittedly, but. So I mean, I mean, Atletico's I mean, I... squad with Maratta and Costa. I mean, Thomas Lamar and jo- and Joe Felix are very That's good players. Good. Let's have a look. Should we do what we did last time? Let's have a look if they've got a director of football. Director of football. Indeed, they do. Like, are you obviously gonna... Actually, currently... it could work with Real Madrid because they'd just make big money signings, wouldn't they? It's what they do. I mean, it's just like I mean, I if it's one, it's the problem with um, Real Madrid. It's like it's one of those jobs you want, but you would hate. You don't want it. Hmm. I mean, I, it's like I example. I don't like, have uh, a director of football, so I don't think I'm going to do it. Have you? Who is your director of football? Give me a second. I will go and go on the staff and find out for you. Obviously, I, I won't be able to pronounce it, but I would. Uh, Ramon um, Ramon Martinez. 72 years of age so it's not like he's a uh, he's um young i mean there we go he, he doesn't get, look it will get, that it, good that gives me an idea then maybe i gotta start going on the uh it's like if you want to it's like anything if you want to prove um you're changing it you're changing at a club <laughs> yeah it's like first day in the job sacking my director of football well, he spent two years as head of youth development at Barcelona from 1988 to 1990, no. then was head of youth development at Madrid for 27 years before leaving to be director of football at Celta Vigo for two, and then he's been director of football since 2009. So, you, I'm gonna you'll, say... up, you'll upset some board members sacking him. I won't. And uh, now I got Benzema since 2009. He was he, he was instrumental in like that team that won the Champions League three years in a row. Yeah, bought Bailey and so, he bought in um, Luka Modric, I think. Let's have a look. Um, so that's Tony a negotiate. Like, that's, that's so intentional player signings for. Yeah, let's go for that. You can do that, and and he can do the in negotiating, but I'll have the final say. I know technically that's cheating, but that's how technically football managers work now, isn't it? Yeah. Sort for of the like, most a, part. 
I mean, it's how it works. I think that's how it works in um, with Klopp. Kind of like he has the sort of play once, but it's like half the time it's like a it's a mutual thing where it's sort of like they find these players and they are kind of like not convince him, but it's show them, and then you sort of ask if he wants them or works for them. Hmm. So it's like um, the idea of um, like managers having full control mm-hmm. of sort of like, or just like oh, if managers like find them, it's like it's just it doesn't work anymore because obviously most stuff is data driven now. Yeah. But I don't know. I just uh, I I just about I I just put all my ability on football basically on how Liverpool have done it because it's kind of worked. Yeah, Liverpool. This Liverpool hasn't happened, mate. We're in Spain. You need to get. Okay. You've got this. So fear. That's That's a heck of a name in my Barcelona B team. Labanot Kabashi. Let's have a look. Oh, I've got. Let's get rid of Barcelona B now. Well, I'll I'll, I'll wait after the game, but okay. Let's have a look. Let's get rid of unavailable. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I mean, I don't have a lot to pick with there, do I? Check that. Yeah, I wouldn't surprise me if like Real Madrid have been like fans are going, you, you. You appointed who as manager? I'm going to get booed out of the building. You know that, right? Oh, yeah. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. I mean, I don't have a massive squad, if I'm honest. So, look, I mean... With the, with the Champions League as well, it's going to be difficult to, to sort of make sure everyone stays fit. I am going to have what? to use the youth Sorry. players as much as I can in a, in a lot of ways. So, like, there's a couple of guys here. Ray Manaj, who's probably my backup striker, unless I play Griezmann there. Hiroki Abe, I've really heard of him. Yeah, it's not great. Oh, no, wait, let me scroll down. I've got some more. That's fine. That makes more sense. Who do you think's going to... I love that. Who do you think's going to win the um, La Liga? I'm obviously going to put myself, because I'm, 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 I'm now an eagle-driven manager, so... Barcelona? So, yeah, I can uh, just don't don't play in those weird game like games you were trying to do um <laughs> when you were in Newcastle, you know, like sitting there going, oh, I'll put I'll put a cheeky little bid for you, one of your best players, just you know, rattle them or something. <laughs> Hang on, I mean, I mean, now you've said it. Um, <laughs> nice no, try. Right. To be fair, when you got me- when you got messy, you don't need anybody else. Let's be honest. I mean, press conference is really boring. Who do you think will win the Spanish first division? Do you imagine the Barca fans if I put Real Madrid? I mean, I know we've got respect, mate, but you know, it's a you, you kind of have to. Well, we're talking about, but yeah, you got to put yourself. You got to be done. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you try and wind games, where you're kind of like, um, <laughs> and ch- 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 what have you done? Nothing. Oh, I know you're done. What have we done? Yeah, I know you're done. You sneaky little git. What am I doing? Here we go. Dixon. <laughs> Dixon is the last person I'll sell him to. It hands off warning. I don't actually want him. I'm just trying to piss him off. No, you're, you're trying. You're trying old my games. I know what you're trying to do, mate. I mean, I've got to be honest. I can't try. I mean. Who else, against, who else would expect- would fancy a move to Real? Sorry, to Barcelona. I mean, Real. the only. I mean, to, no, it's. I, I don't, I'm not playing with your games, mind games here. Yeah, you are. Yeah, you are. Right, let's have a look. Right, who else right. Can, I, can I tap on? Who's going to be an important player for you? Is the thing, and who Shit, can I? Sit there. Who can I tap up a little bit? I mean. Bale wants out of Real Madrid anyway, let's be honest. He doesn't care. Well, he, he, won't, he won't when now I'm in charge. He only wanted out because basically um, Zidane was, uh, for some reason, a dick to him. Was he? Oh, God, you slimy, slimy man. <laughs> 300 million. <laughs> let's, just, let's just scroll down there. Can I... 300 million. 300 I love that is believed to ready to table a breathtaking bid of a region of 300 million I mean you've got if I remember correctly you've got 8 million <laughs> in the bank <laughs> yeah pretty much so 
Yeah, have have a look at all that, mate. There you go. It's not going to work, mate. I mean, I need to know how much money I've got. Oh, damn. How much that's, you got? That's just too... Oh, I'm so... Oh, too... It's not enough. How much have you got? <sighs> just uh, 51 million. I'm sorry, mate. Are you actually going to sign anybody there? Um... Where where would you sign a player? What position? Maybe a um, maybe another striker, I suppose. But you got Luke I mean, only play, I, I mean, only thing I can think of is. I mean, I guess in the left wing back, I need like, a decent one because obviously he's not getting any. You got Fer Ferlan Mendy though. Yeah. I would That's probably say you need a right back. Hmm. But. The only sad truth is the only right back I would want is playing for a club I wouldn't. I, I, but I don't want to like sort of like upset I, them. Ups, especially Klopp, mate. He's my he's my man. Maybe don't they can upset. win the league this time. With the weird thing about this one, this save is weird. It's like they will always win the Champions League. Apparently, we didn't play far enough to find out. I suppose last time. No, but I think um, on like you know football manager um, sort of like groups and stuff. Mm. Um, apparently, like Liverpool always like some put like a chart up of like you know who wins the Champions League over like like five to six seasons. Mm -hmm. I mean Liverpool won it three years in a row. Wow. So could explain what I mean. I just realised if he goes the way on the game, wouldn't you be getting like a nice quarter final against Liverpool? Maybe. If things go the plan. Maybe. Um, let me just look at... You sli You are... I can't believe that. You're the most slimiest man ever. What sitting there putting oh, sneaky little sneaky little bids for like players. What are you talking about? 300 million. 300 million. I mean, what market have you got here? I mean... I mean, I, I get it. It's like you've got... You've got um, what's it? Um, what's the word I'm for? Sort of like your know, hands-off things. Because Messi's probably got like 400 million or something. So hands-off. Hmm. Type, I mean, I mean, it's like when we talk about like weird clubs, so like I always find they're not run as clubs to run as mini countries. Mm -hmm. So like when you I'm got just, was it? I'm just. Uh, are, you t are you tinkering? Tink I'm just tinkering with the uh, match settings, so it's already set for me. So I think I would have been. Uh, right, you know, we are not... nearly there though. Getafe first. I've got these. I've, imagine I, I... if I lose. <laughs> Well, remember last time you first match, you won, so and then it just went, it's like, down. But you, you're a better club, and you're owned by better people, so I have faith. You'll be doing okay. Right, so let's put deep. I'm gonna play a narrow pitch, keep the ball, pass through the middle, get the ball into the box for Luis Suarez to score some goals. He's gonna, he's gonna need to eat away at the defenders and get some goals for us. All right, so this is I'm gonna play. It seems like a. I'm going to try and see what happens, and then if it doesn't work, I'll just mix it up, because... Wow, oh, that bench, when you got Isco on there. I, I love this team so much. I mean... But, um, yeah, I'm just basically going to do a... Let's have a look. Yeah. But maybe I should do what they do in real life, where they put, was it... Um, oh, was it um, Ramos is the um, is the free, is the free uh, penalty taker, so he can score the most goals as a... You know... Defender. Hmm. Uh, let's have a look. Who takes my set pieces? Take it to Bayo, of course. Cross. Uh -huh. <laughs> Three kicks. Ramos. Bayo on the right. Yeah, throw ins. Yeah. Mate. What's that? What's, what's that? What was that? You know, one player I would like to get back, but obviously down alone. Um, that guy they got from that Norwegian wonder kid that everyone's after. Oh, the guard. Like twenty. He's like twenty-three now, isn't he? He's at um. Sociedad. I mean, twenty. In the game. He's like, well, he's twenty. Mm -hmm. I keep getting signed when he was sixteen. Mad, really. It's mad that he literally had like one year in Norway, scored five in twenty-three, and Real Madrid went, "Yes, please." They're not, yeah, but they don't. They don't think about Real Madrid. Not, they haven't got exactly a good track record when it comes to um, Bring honing talent. No. It's like it was, he's been loaned out how many times, and I think um, he is. I think he's kind of he hasn't gone off the radar because I still think he's quite good, hmm. but he just needs that team or that kind of coach. Um, it's like I know it sounds silly. I, I don't think he'll fit his system, but it's like if he he need he needs a world class coach like you know like Guardiola or Klopp or something like that. 
Yeah. Just really hone his talents. Um, no, I okay, so that. Bale's not injured, so that's good. De Jong, I want you as a D okay. man. De oh, man, when you got mid playmaker on support. Learn that, but improve your... <sighs> I mean, he's still fabulous already. Let's look and prove his final third. Messi's good. Griezmann, Griezmann's got to be learning that shadow stroke role. He is. Dembele, Dembele, Dembele. Here's a, here's a question for you. Why, why are you doing that? Mm -hmm. um, why do you think the Griezmann thing's not working out at Barcelona at the moment? It's, it's, it's just hard to fit him in correctly, I think. Do you think it was a panic buy from uh, Barcelona? I think you would say a buy to. It was probably a Barcelona director showing his power. So uh, I don't want to say a political, nice and silly, but political buy. Yeah, but I, think, kind of... I think it probably was a political buy, to be honest. Thanks. Which is sad, Thanks, but you know, it's the, way, it's the way the game works sometimes. It's the way the and... game works. Well, especially in, but again, it's like Barcelona, Real Madrid. I mean, like presidents have like like. Was it re-election stuff about like, oh, if you if you elect me, I'll buy this player. Hmm. But okay, let's have a look. It's thingy on the bench still. Okay. Oh, I'm loving this. I've got an option. I've got an option. We got what's his name on the bench? Who's, who's that Brazilian that everyone keeps waving about? Mariano. Uh. Oh, yeah. you mean you're on about Rodrigo? Or Vinicius yeah. Junior? I think they're both Brazilian, don't they? Well, one's in. I'm tempted to loan him out because he, he could be the next. Hmm. So he's unregistered. What a shocker! Right, that, that. That's oh, so you got a bench. It's got us and that now. I'm just making sure everyone's training in their correct positions. You as a wing back there on support and improve. What can Jordi Alba improve? Hmm. Crosser, I don't know. Um, and to Stegen's my man in goal. That's a heck of a uh, dribble. Let's see, first touch, 17, dribbling, 20, damn. Penalty taking, technique, 18. Um, damn, it's like, Hazard's amazing. I know, I know, he's scary, really. I mean, it just, is it, why do, again, why do you think it isn't working at the moment? Uh, he's, he came... He was overweight. He's trying to lose a lot of weight, but he's he's not he's never he's never really been fit at Real Madrid, and he's just gone downhill since then. I'm ready for game time here. Are you ready? Yeah, I'll give it a go. I mean, I, I think positive though, mate. At the moment, it's working out great. Hmm. Ansu Fati needs a number. He can have number. Um. It just feels very yeah, Barcelona that he'll have number ninety nine. I thought that's more of a, like a like a like you know a South American thing, or like an Italian thing. Where well, like you got that. Well, Ansu Fati is, I think he's Spanish actually. Ansu Fati. Okay, so okay, so we're going to play like a four-two-three on a defensive wide. We are going to have um, just to you know, so we can have a system, so we're hard to beat. Uh, but the good thing is I've got a contingency one where where I can transition the four-two-three one quite nice because I've got Isco on the bench. So good. You can. All, he can always open it up, but um, yeah, um, this might work, it might not, but I should, in theory, pretty much destroy the team I'm playing now. But it's, um... I'm, I'm just hoping for a good performance. I'll take a 2-0 a win. It doesn't have to be flashy. It just needs to be no scares, boys. Let's get Griezmann a goal. That's what I want. Antoine Griezmann, a goal from Shadow Striker. Let's have a look. That's... Um... Goalkeeper in possession, don't care about that. No. Out of position. Uh, should, should, I become, should I become a dirty side and start, you know, getting stuck in with tackles? <laughs> but um, I think I'll stay on feet Sergio there. Sergio Ramos sent off every game. <laughs> I mean, what is he doing at Real Madrid, man? It's like, he's, like, I've seen the records, but is it just because they just put him on penalty duty? <laughs> now he's, and it's now every, all of a sudden he's like one of like the most high scored defender or something. He's a very good player, Sergio Ramos. Oh no, it's um, we're still um, 
but no one can deny that. But he's, as, as a Liverpool fan, um, he's mm. quite astute. He's still hated for a certain instant. Well, that's what gets me when Mo Salah's linked with Real Madrid, and I'm like, really? You really think he's going to go and be in the same team? With he won't. Sergio he won't Ramos? go to. I know it sounds silly, and it might sound like um, obvious now, but it's like as much as they say when Barcelona, uh, William June and Barcelona come along, you like pretty much going to leave. Mm. But it's just like the reason he's great is because the system we have works around making him look good. Yeah. Like as good as he is. It's like if you put him in a Barcelona, like Barcelona, like Real Madrid possibly the best destination. It's, I don't think it'll work. No. Well, it's. I'm just looking through the Getafe side and they've got Alan Neom, formerly of Watford and West Bromwich Albion. Let's have a look. So we've got Papa Against Ousmane Dembele. This feels not fair. Yeah, it just feels like it's just a. All right, so apparently, what team I've got is so a traditional four-four-two. That's um, <clears throat> dangerous. Mm-hmm. Got to be honest, uh, especially against a great side of. But you never know if it works for them. Um, play, yeah. yeah, probably. <laughs> come on, I bob. Oh, come on, I bob. But do you feel they're actually decent? They actually got a decent side. Um, it, like I feel like they get top eight. Quite weak, like quite consistently mm. in our league. That's really good. They're actually like they're sort of like what's a good example? Like um, it's like oh, maybe West Ham, or like, like sort of like a Palace or something. You know, like put, pushing above what they're probably capable of. Mm. It's not an insult or anything, but it's just like you know. All right, so here we go. Here we Let's go. see Kick if this off. come again. Come on, game. I'm you know you want to work. 2D. All right, oh, oh, we, no. we're coming forward straight oh, away, no. actually. Messi on the ball to Griezmann, wide for Sergio Roberto. Arthur, oh, look at us working the ball. Messi involved in everything. When Messi's got the ball, it literally disappears from his oh, feet. Man. Jordi Alba, Usman Dembele into Griezmann. Great block, first of all and second of all. What's wrong? You got an issue? No, I was just um, I forgot you have to change the settings when it comes to the um, how to fast the it goes, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so let's give this a go. Here we go. Made a good start okay. so far. A couple of early chances. Let's get oh, a goal what to ease the nerves. Have you scored already? Oh no, it's just um, I just um, I'm just in awe of the great players I have. I'm I'm, I'm kind of a bit of a fanboy, so. Fanboy. Real Madrid. God, fanboy got, when you got Modric. Right, right. Twenty-seven minutes. When you got on Modric, the clock. mate. I know, but still, twenty-seven minutes on the clock. Roberto whips the ball in. It's towards Dembele, and it actually they clear it quite nicely. But the ball's just coming oh, back at us. Disappears under this yellow kit, which is weird. PK to De Jong, Frankie De Jong to Griezmann. Griezmann on the spin. What a fabulous strike from Antoine Griezmann. He spun on it and he's flopped it into the bottom corner. It's a goal on his there debut, and it's a goal for Antoine Griezmann. It's a brilliant goal as well. Keep but that you, out. Expect, you expect nothing less. No. No. Oh, don't. one nil. One deal. Corner. It's unusual for Real Madrid, but you know it works. Cross corner. Basically, Benzema is just like comes straight to his feet, strikes it. It's like cool as you like, easy as pie. So one nil here. Griezmann's just gone close again. Very similar. I think Griezmann in this shadow striker role gives He's him the opportunity it. to sort of pick the ball up twenty yards out it. and have as many shots as he wants. And that's hopefully. He's done way. it again. Benzema He's again. Done it again. Well, it was Benzema. It was another free. It was a free kick. Came to Benzema. He headed it, but oh wait, they haven't. That's on side by yeah. But I think um, was it um, Velvade or something like this? Someone nicked on the back post. So it kind of nicked his goal. Oh, you bastard! But but I really don't. Too bothered, you know. Yeah. Especially Frankie when it's goals. Suffered a knock, but we. He looks okay, like here he we go. Hazard. Through. Arthur whips it in, and Dembele it's over the bar. In a oh, game where God. it's quite comfortable, I'm not going to take any chances. If Frankie de Jong's got a knock, let's get him off. Um, we can put Rakitic in there quite comfortably, actually. Ivan Rakitic. I forgot you've got Rakitic. Hmm. Yeah, and got now Alba's picked up a knock. And he's got to come oh, off. And I don't really have a left-back on the bench. It means Samuel Umtiti is going to move over to left-back. And Lem- oh, well, we could play some Mado. Tomato, God, we're playing, we're playing well, but I just um, 
I think for me, this is some wisdom. We're, like most of our goals didn't come from like um, set pieces. Hmm. Okay, how are we doing again? All right. Okay, here we go, Bale. That's annoying. Jordi Alba's gone off injured. Oh, Hazard, Hazard, Hazard. Oh. Injury. Almost. Oh, that's another corner. God, we're, we're just we're just blitzing at the moment. But we need another goal. Want a little one a third before the for the half an hour mark. Mm, I'd like a second. Just yeah. I'm into the second half, to be fair. But I'd like a second. It's always, always, always going to be saved. Sleep. I'd just like to get uh, Messi sort of involved a little bit more. We're not doing it really. Rakitic is whipped in the corner. He's there again, Ivan Rakitic, to peak. How are they playing? How how is the team? How is the team playing for you? Like the opposition? Quite well. I've got a free kick on the edge of the box here. This is Messi territory all over. Lionel Messi. Oh, he's flashed it wide. Lionel, you're not sticking to the script. We're playing quite well. We're dominant, but we've only one goal in front. I kind of a little much. Oh, I just feel like we could do with one more just to ease it a bit. That's a good ball wide. Roberto oh, go. pulls it back for Messi. Lionel Messi into the box. I, I mean, he could have had a shot there, Messi. I'm um, DT. PK. Maybe, maybe this, working it. I mean, this is more of a cautious performance, I would say, with mine. Because mm. obviously, when you've got a defensive midfield laying back, it's got, it's got, it's kind of. Showing respect to the opposition that you kind of worry about them, but I don't know if it's like maybe in the second half, maybe put like a, an advance and see if that opens up more opportunities, maybe. Yeah, you could do. Yeah, I mean, I've just hit the post as well, which is frustrating. I mean, that's what that's what I like about this. Like, like that's it's got. I finally got like a second option because obviously yeah. it's going to get. Um, that's what happens with the Man United one. It was just like I knackered them out, the poor guys, and then they got near the end of the season. They were just like, I can't be doing this anymore. So that's well, why my form dipped. Yeah. Well, I'm more like you, weirdly, where I don't have as many options. I'm going to stick Antoine Griezmann up front because Suarez right, isn't so playing the... well anyway. And we're going to bring right, on so the fir... Rist... so the first Ricky half. Puig. Puig Puig is the name, apparently. Okay, so we've got, what was it, 15 shots, five on target, two goals. It's not the worst, but I, could, I think we can do better. But yeah. let's have a look. Some... Messy okay, tackled okay. there. That's not what you want to see. Okay. C competent. Okay, that's not good. Okay, so let's change it up a bit. Oh, Messi. Oh. Okay, let's put him forward. I mean, there's a goal. There's a goal here. There is a goalie. It's Griezmann to Messi. He's flashed it wide. Lionel has All not right, taken so what... his weight of it today. All right, okay, okay, so change it up. Put um, put his change it up to the four two three one wide, and then put his goal. Um, it's attacking me further behind, and hopefully that should make counter attackings more fluent and better. So, yeah. fingers crossed. But um, I know if I'm a person that's two 0 he's like thinking, oh yeah, but it's like, I it's it's with Real Madrid, it's, you can't just win a game. You got to like destroy them mm. in some ways. Like attack, you got to play that best football. That's the problem with Real Madrid. You can't like like the way Liverpool played against Villa. That wouldn't right. be that wouldn't be allowed yes. at Real Madrid. Well, I've had 33 shots, 13 on target, and with two minutes to go, I have finally grabbed a second, and it's Gerard Piquet, of all people, with a volley from about 15 yards. Incredible. I mean, would you be happy with that? Yeah, I mean, it's not too bad. It's a comfortable victory. At the, that's, that's the thing at the end of the day. I mean, Messi and Suarez have had a bit of a bit of a bad game between the two of them. Messi not involved as much as I'd like, but oh, that young attacking midfielder I've brought on, 18 years of age, has just th thumped the post from, from the edge of the box. Should be doing. We should be. So we're having opportunities, but we're just like, our finishing's not great. Hmm. I mean, come from 2 0, but it's like, I always find if you're getting all your goals from set pieces, I always like, yeah, it's that's good, but. Hmm. Well, I've won the game 2 0, but Messi and Suarez both on a 6.5. So what's Isco doing? Oh no. Contra, oh, contra, lucky, lucky there. We're getting back into this. I don't. Come yeah. on, Iba. Oh, Iba. Oh, Iba. Oh, Iba. Atletico Madrid beat New York, but only by a goal to nil, by the way. So, that's, but yeah, but it's kind of a way they. Okay, let's have a look. All right, so let's make a change. What about this junior dude? Mm, oh, should I take him off a half Hmm. You know what? Why not? Maybe you can like score one 
undergo and make his career. Mm. Um, if he wants to do it, of course. Are you playing in 3D or 2D? 3D, of course. I love it in 3D. That's, that's what's confused me. It's good. It's stuck to my settings. Yeah, Bale's on a 6.2 for you. And you've brought yeah. off Hazard instead. It's not a patient plan. I'm winning 2 0, it's fine. It'd be different if I was like, if it done it against like a. Like. Okay. Is it not moving for Oh, nice build up player. Uh, what's another one I can take off? Um, and let's put him. And then. Oh, I don't know. So I take Kroos off. I don't know if that'd be dangerous. but He's on it. Done it. He's his best player on the pitch, to be honest. Uh, okay, I'll let, I'll let him on for another hour or so. Another 15 minutes, I mean. Um, what you could have done is brought Vinicius Jr. on for Bale and put Hazard on the right wing. Yeah, but it's not doesn't utilize his best, though, is it? I think it's better than a 6.2 Bale. Yeah, I need to look at Bale on for the next match because obviously it's not the best. No, it's not his best performance. Okay. Yeah. We're getting back into this game. It's very worrying. Quick, very quick. And Charles. I mean, come on, Ibar. Oh, they're giving the. Oh! Ooh. Yeah, I know. <laughs> that was the high yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, this game this game's going weird. Uh right. That okay. was close. Oh what a shocker. Sergio Ramos has got a yellow card. I'm shocked. Alright, that's um uh, let's put let's put who I want to put on. Just cause um I don't know. Uh, okay. Take a 2 0 win. But. Yeah, it's kind of. It's a tip. I've got a feeling I won't be liked. If we just kind of. I don't know. You've dominated. They've only had four shots. You're comfortable. You're not going to win every game in the league 4 0, 5 0. I mean, it could be three, though. Oh, it could... oh, oh, oh. Defensively, uh, you that... don't look great. I mean. That El Clasico is going to be interesting. Right, okay, here we go. Let's go. Let's go. I didn't have a right. highlight against me. Carvial. Wow. Could be three. Bale. I mean, I mean oh. that's a stunning goal. That is a well-taken goal for me to go that. Bit, bit of a bit of um. I think I think I'm just going that that made me a bit happier with the performance because it's like um because the other guys were like that but it's like this was just a good work move. Hmm. And oh, I mean, the keeper was just like, no, I can't say that. It's not happening. Yeah. But well, I think this guy's like, he's a, he's a nice little tricky little player. Hmm. Um, I just I just wish he was like appreciating more. Hmm. I mean, okay, well, so what? There we go. That's the end of it. Uh, a good win for you, a good win for me on the opening day. Yet we're not top of the league as uh, Alaves have beat Atletico Pamplona five <laughs> one. Yeah, I mean, I gotta be honest. This is this is quite bad. It's like twenty six shots on target. It's twenty six, eleven on target, and then it's got three. It's not the best conversion rate. But yeah, but you you gotta think that's it's probably about right over a ninety minutes. A Man City or someone, that's how they play. And on some think... days they'll win six or seven nil, but some days it's just a two nil. Well, I think for me it's like um, I realized when I changed it up. And put like um put like Isco where he was. Mm. They had more chances. Um when when I was playing a defensive midfielder to stay around, it kind of like limited what they can do. But then I wasn't creating as much, so I don't know if it's like a have to use some sort of I don't know. Um like use it as a keep the game solid and then when it when, when we're winning two 0 like here and just go out front maybe. Have like two systems for two like going through the game maybe. Yeah. But I mean, obviously, in any other game, winning three nil would be great, but because it's, it's Real Madrid, you got to be have highest expectations. Mm, I get what you're saying. I mean, look, look at me sounding like I know what I'm talking about. Uh, we hit the woodwork oh, four times. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Uh, it was. It was. It, I got to be honest though. I've got. Oh God. I mean, who's my next game? I'm tempted to obviously because we've got to. Um, it's like. As much as I like Cross, like um, he's my star player, and I'm sitting there thinking of dropping him. That's bad, right? 
you play, I'm saying he was the best player on the pitch last time. What are you saying Brisbane to your team that if you play well, you just get dropped? <laughs> You, you. I love this. Was it Green, Greensman has spoke publicly to desire desire to see um, Hazard complete a big money move to Barcelona. Claims the 28 year old elite winger would be stupid. To, yeah, stupid. That's a great way to get someone to join. You'll be stupid to turn down a move to Barcelona. Amazing, 206 million pounds. What's in the bank? <laughs> don't worry about that. <laughs> don't, don't be doing what PSG do. You know, like the own the owners basically buy them and the club doesn't, so they get away from the financial fair play rules. We know. Oh, that's an idea. What is? Um, no, because I'm just thinking of the bail thing. It's not working out, or like, uh, or like have some sort of like stern competition for him. Right. Oh, who, who, yeah. who are you going to sign? Because I like, I can't sign him. There's no way I can sort of. I, I, I'm thinking of like because obviously the, yeah I need a. I think I've got a decent enough squad to be like, oh, like great players, but I just need, it's like anything we'll be able to do. You need a, a marquee signing. Mm-hmm. Well, for my, it's like, who do I go for? It's like I need someone. I think for me, it's like I might, <laughs> yeah, let's go, let's go for Phil Folden, the best player a pet has ever played for. Yeah. Um, uh, I mean, you got I mean, fifty so, million to spend. You might as well spend it. I mean, who though? It's like you got, uh, we got, was it Bam? Not Bamiang. Yeah, Bamiang. I mean, he's kind of a player that could work for you, but it's like, again. You ain't got I a mean, lot of money there, 50 million. That doesn't seem a lot well, for Real Madrid. No, but I think it's because, um, like, on top of my, let's think of ability, let's go for that. It's like the top players to get, obviously, like, you know, is it Albert, like, you know, from Bar- was it Bayern Munich, and you've got, was it and Dreg- Dregner? It's gone, it's, so I think he's still at Juventus. They're like, all the big names. Hmm. But uh, I don't know, because I, I kind of want a winger, and he kind of can play yeah, on the you right. Need, you need a winger, really, if you're lo- looking at our squad. You need another backup right winger. I mean, uh, your options are slim, just because players are overrated so much. Like ideally, in a real, in a realistic world, Real Madrid go, let's go in for Jordan Sancho, Jaden Sancho, sorry, right? But you are not signing Jaden Sancho. 50 million pounds you'd have to pay about 100 yeah that's the problem in mind it's like um i never thought how much i says real madrid i've got to like you know balance the books hmm. um i mean i mean I, I don't know i think um let's have a look at this okay that's not bad i mean just look at stats wise the defense looked pretty solid on the sevens um that midfield looked quite good um uh, but yeah i think that defensive midfield thing i might have to see if i put a front three like free midfield, see if that makes it better. Hmm. Or maybe I just need, maybe that's what all I need. A defensive midfielder. They can hold the line. That's because he's scared of Griezmann, Dembele, Messi and Suarez people. He is terrified. Wow, I try to use tactical wisdom and it's all of a sudden out. And now I'm terrified. I'm... Uh, right. Uh, no, it's cool. It's good. I remember I, on this game, I'm, ta- I'm, I remember my, on this game, I'm, I'm, I'm considered a tactic. Um, a tactician. No, no, I'm not buying it. I'm not. Buying oh, it. Actually, you, haven't got, you haven't got Paul Pogba's overrated long shots now. No, but I've got Paul on the best attacking three on its day in the world football. I mean, one of, but not the best. The I did, best I, I, are Griezmann, me- Messi, and Luis Suarez. Well, to be fair, the best is obviously not in this league. So, well, they are. You know, Griezmann. right? Let's compare the two, right? <laughs> Messi is better than all it. three of your players, right? That you would consider. You're the <sighs> best. The best of the three is Hazard, yeah. Oh, this is a point. This is a pointless argument. This is a pointless argument, mate. It's not happening. No, let's just, let's just do it, right? So, so you got Hazard, yeah? Would you admit that Messi is better than Hazard? <laughs> Of course he is. Messi. Of course. Absolutely. So we'll take them out of the equation now. So we'll compare the other two, the, the other four players. So the strikers, Benzema and Luis Suarez. Who's who do you who do you think's a better player? It's not a fair assessment. I just answer the question. <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna just just for the sake of just a... come on, don't sit on the fence. Don't come on. <laughs> As a former Liverpool fan, 
<laughs> well, it's not exactly loved in our, our place at the moment because of the way he acted when Barcelona came sure. to town. Like, I'm not yeah. about his 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 uh, conduct. We all know he's a twat, but as a player, well, it depends. What do you mean? Okay, okay. Here we go. For the kind of players I like, and the kind of players that I like. Oh, yes. No, don't know. Yes, exactly. So Suarez, Suarez. So that's two, and then we'll compare the other ones. You have got Gareth Bale, or you've got Antoine Griezmann. What, what are we talking about that now or prime bell? We're, we're talking about right now because the save is right now. Well, go ahead and get your green spin. Well, there you go pretend. then, ladies and gentlemen. As he admits it, that Barcelona have a better front three than Real Madrid. But it's not... But does it doesn't really matter. No, no, no. Better front three oh. than Real Madrid. Confirmed. You know what that means? You know what that means, don't you? That means I have to... Do that. It means I just have to destroy you now. Just no, to prove... It's to not, well, not going to happen, though, because Lionel Messi loves an El Clasico. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna out I'm gonna, I'm gonna win that. No, you're not. I mean, I've got a difficult game now. I've got Valencia. Ooh, you're lucky, Gary. You're lucky, Gary's not there. They have got a decent team, Valencia. To be honest, they do have a decent they, team. Max would it be Gomes fair? It's like a, He's... you forget that they, um, uh, they beat Barcelona, um, in the um, Cup of the UEFA final last year. They are a good team. They're not playing Rodrigo at the moment, which is interesting. Very, very good striker up front. Mm. Um, who else is there? I mean, everyone else is sort of playing. Goncalo Guedes is a very million. good left. 100 player. million. What? So I've just put, I just put Phil Folden, right? Just for the sake of it. Like, was it value? 35 million, right? Mm -hmm. And apparently, was it max? Was it opinion of a maximum asking price of 100 million? I'm surprised it's it's that low to be honest with his potential. I mean, I don't know. I think for me, it's like um, the problem with him is like um, they do like they they, they do that thing where the worst thing you can do with some players is kind of big him up as this like neck prodigy mm -hmm. instead of just letting him just do his own thing and let people see in themselves how great he is. Yeah, it's it's a lot of with him. It's a lot, a lot of Pep just saying he's the best player I've worked with, all that stuff. Mm -hmm. And with that kind of stuff, you're getting a bar like a bar of quality that if he doesn't get it every week, everyone's going to be on him. But if you just let him do his thing, saying he's a really good player and I don't want to use him, let him just play more games and stuff and let him do his own thing, then people might, um, I don't, I don't, not, not fair respect him, but sort of like not have that kind of like harsh criticism of him. Yeah. Maybe. No, I get what you mean. I get what you mean. He is very good though. Very. I mean, I'm not, not saying he isn't, but it's just, he'd, but it's like, um, he's, he's better. Sorry. Look, let me say this, right? Um, Foden or Grealish, Foden is the better player. Mm. Which is mad to think, but Foden's going to do so much more in his career than Jack Grealish will. And I, I not love Jack Grealish. Don't get me wrong. But, but I think the question is though, um, like, would is it one of these players like would City give him a shot? Because at the moment it's like it's all great when you're winning, but it's like if City have another season like they had this season. Um, they're not going to risk. No offense to Foden, but they're not going to risk it. I you think. Take... Mm, I think Pep's going to start him next year a lot because Su uh, um, Suarez, David Silva's leaving, and he's the I mean, he's the next in line, isn't he? They're interesting because I've got a feeling they're going to go and plug out that hole um, in defense. Yeah, they by will. far they will. So they will. they'll go and sign a top class centre back. But what? I mean, there isn't many top class centre backs in the world, really. What? Well, I mean, you can always have that debate about, you know, Van Dyke, but they're not again, going to sign Van Dyke. Dyke. Take Van, Van I know. Dyke out of it. So I, know, you, I mean, I don't know. The, sorry, I'm just going to have a look on the screen now at the sort of top centre backs in the world at this at the start of the save, and obviously it's very still very similar. I mean, I've got to go up, not down. Up would be good. So the best centre back on the game, apparently. Well, apparently it's David Alaba. That's not true, or in terms of value. But it's 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 Virgil Van Dyke for sure. I mean, yeah. I mean, um, it's but it's but but again, it's like any any other other options. I mean, Koulibaly at Napoli to a point is very good. Well, he's twenty we'll eight now. We'll, we'll be wounded of him because um, obviously, yeah. I, I think the problem is is um the book. Okay, we got this problem. I know we're talking about Real and Barcelona, but we're talking about City. I just want to. Get into it, but the problem with that is like, this is what happens when they've got like an ineffective sort of youth system going on, mm -hmm. because it's like 
it's kind of a problem Chelsea had for years, where it's just like they bide the way out of trouble and eventually it catches up with you. Yeah. Um, and that's why they, well, and the transfer ban kind of made them have to choose youth. Mm-hmm. But I mean, I, I think, well, for example, for Liverpool, it's like we don't have, we don't, we probably have to buy big, big names, but we don't because our youth system's quite good. Yeah. So, but that's the problem with City. I think it's like they always have to buy the way out of trouble. I think it's City, like a, City are doing a lot of work on their youth academy. I know. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, it's probably not fair, but it's like it's not seeing. It's not. It's no. You're not seeing it yet, if you know what I mean. No, but I bet you in five years' time, City have got the best youth academy in England. Five yeah, probably. Years time. Because to be fair, you look at some of the players that have come through since City have got the money. Jaden Sancho is one of them, technically. Yeah, but then again, like most things, they didn't use him, and he had to go away to prove his worth. Yeah. Um, but I think the problem, I think, yeah, I just think it's um, it'd be they have to buy the way at Trouble at the moment, and obviously with the pressure they have as a club, it kind of they like, did did he have the kind of time to sort of build? Mm. Um, like with like example Liverpool, they would, I think the fans and like the club would, um, because of the the philosophy of how that place works, they're a bit more open to it, mm-hmm. maybe. But I mean, the same with Barcelona, the same thing. Well, with their youth system, it's like um, they're just not giving them the chance. Really? Yeah. No, I get what you Cause, mean. Because obviously the, the 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 decline of um the club, um, the team's pretty much like the average age, like 26, 27. It's quite old. Yeah. In the, in the confines of um, it works on this game because um, the stats wise they're still great, so you could probably still do well. Yeah. But be like that's the problem. It's like. And also they've seen like teams like City, Liverpool, all kinds of all these other ones like outdoing them. Mm-hmm. Like, because obviously without Messi, what is Barcelona? No offense, but like he sort of makes them tick. Yeah, he. I agree. I agree to a lot of points of there. I mean, Barcelona still have some great players apart from Messi, but Messi in any team walks in and be the best team, best player in the team. Yeah, I've just yeah. noticed you've got Atletico Bilbao now, so you've got a difficult game as well. Yeah, they I mean Villarreal on the opening day of the season, away from home. I mean, Bill. I think I think the good thing is my system I've got with the defensive. Like, it's great when you're away from home because it just makes it just an extra man in it, like at the back, so it's like harder to break us down, maybe. Mm-hmm. But um, there, I just like, yeah, I should win that. I mean, I'll take a two 0 win just because it's like you. I mean, but I would want to score more goals in play because obviously yeah. we got them from from set pieces, but. Maybe it's just me, but I just I always find if you're scoring goals from set pieces but not an open play, it's I don't know. I just I I want more. You know what I mean? It's like um when like lower teams do it, it's great. But when you're like a team like Real Madrid, you should be scoring like great goals. Mm-hmm. But it's not free, that are not like you know corners, maybe free kicks, but you don't want to line that. But that's just me. No, I get what you mean. I'm forced into one change. Jordi Alba's out for a few weeks. The junior Furpo comes in at mm, left back, but the that's... rest is the same. Let's have relief. a look. Ooh. Ooh. What, what's what's an ooh? Uh, well, I can't pronounce his name because you know my you know me when names pronouncing. Mm-hmm. But um, that guy I was, I was the guy I was talking to you about that like, I wanted to put Cross in. Valverde. Uh, yeah, put him in defensive because he kind of, and then maybe, yeah, see if that works. You because drop him yeah. Casemiro. Uh, yeah. But he's on the bench, so it's fine. If it go if it goes. I don't think it'd be it'd be fun. I, I got, I mate. I've had a week to be in this team. I've got to find my best side. I'm having Zidane problems. I know, but what's you, Zidane? So, so you're dropping 27 year old Brazilian Casemiro, and not dropping 33 year old Luka Modric. But, but it's Luka Modric. So what roles? <laughs> what role are you playing Modric in? Uh, advanced playmaker. And what role are you playing Tony Cruz in? Defensive line playmaker. The dreaded Support him well. The dreaded double playmaker. But it works though, because if 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 he keeps them roamed, if you like put a defensive midfield, let them roam to like have the, the space in behind the strikers and just let let them do their thing. Yeah, man, it it's, could work. It absolutely. Could I mean, work. I mean, I mean, again, it works. Again, that's what Barcelona were good at as well. Like they had like when he got Zabi and Iniesta, just let them do their thing. Mm. They could destroy teams. So I'd, obviously I'm not trying to compare him, but it's just like we've got probably one of the most two most creative, mid- best creative midfielders in world football. So no, I mean yeah, I um, yeah, I, I, said, get, I, 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 I agree to a point. 
but it'll be interesting to see how it works out in the game. Are you uh, are you submitting? Because Athletic Bilbao are waiting to beat you. I always try, always try, always try to play mind games, every time. Uh, so let's leave it there, and then let's go uh, stay on our feet. Because obviously, I want to be. We're not, we're not we're not in the Premier League anymore. I can't be playing dirty football. <laughs> you know, tech, you know, got on the, got to pay got to pay the pretty football. Yeah, yeah, you kick. Yeah, but you got Sergio Ramos, so like, he's the one player that if you kick him, he's gonna roll the length of the pitch. Which is just, I mean, I could be, to be fair, that guy looks like if if he scares the crap out of me now, he's got that beard. Mm. I mean, if you saw a picture of him back when he signed for Real Madrid and where he is now, it's like I don't know if it is about like him. It's just like he looks like a guy. If he was like on like drugs, he would probably destroy you. He has them. He has that look. Don't mess with him. Good yeah. old, he's easy. Oh, he's a, he's a, he's one of those good old fashioned defenders that obviously I can't like now because of what he did to um, Mo Salah. But you know, you know I don't hold grudges by the way. Valencia have a very good team. Danny Parejo as well. Oh. It's interesting. But in the theory, problem. we should have a better team. We need Griezmann, Messi, and Suarez to do the business today. Uh, okay. Simple. I'm going to say that. defensive done well last game, so I'm going to say I expect you to control the midfield. Oh, it's kind of gone well. And then attacking wise, I want them to show the quality finishing. So pretty shambolic in the last game. Mm. They, had all, they had some good chances and kept missing, so um, they need to be better. And when you've had like 20 or how many shots on target and only put like three of them away. Yeah. So, but three minutes in, least... home debut, and Luis Suarez is at the bar with a header. Suarez looks up for it this one. Let's have a look. So, Atletico Madrid. No, Atletico Bilbao, I mean. My bad. Thinking, thinking too far. I'm thinking of the end of the month. Have you got uh, Madrid at the end of this month? Atletico. Hang on, we're coming forward again here. Yeah? Yep, got yet. to Junior Griezmann on the edge of the box has got space, and Antoine Griezmann in this in this shadow striker role is loving life. He is have, have, loving it. Are you getting the best out of him? I I seem to be. I mean, I need to change that. Let's change that. But here we go. Here we go. Five minutes in, still nil nil. But it's fine. They, they've got the. I think they've got like two defensive midfielders, so it's like it's like a block of like five or six. Corner in. Oh, no. Messi whips it in. It's headed away. Suarez underneath it. Oh, Luis mm. Suarez, can he find the ball out? I mean, Messi had a bit of space there, but we've gone the other way. Arthur, Griezmann on the edge of the box. I mean, we recycle. Okay, we'll get it into Messi and go again. Griezmann. Oh, he just couldn't conquer. What we are Benzema? Dominant. Sorry? Just, I just like, was it, was it Benzema? With, oh, God, no. Ooh, they're looking, it's let's go with Bowser. It's looking good. Oh, bit Arthur, of a competitive, that's wide. It's again a bit of a competitive game, yeah. Atletico Madrid are beating Sociedad, by the way, by goal to nil. So the pressure's on you out of the big three. We're winning. They're winning. Pressure's on you now. So, and we are Madrid managers. There's always pressure. I, I can always do the old, I eat, put, I eat pressure for breakfast, but I don't think that works here. I've just gone top of the league. Do you, don't, don't, don't be start chanting them top of the league. Da, 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 da. No, that rubbish. Top of the league. Da, 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 da. Mm, okay. da, na, na, na. Interesting. I don't think this is working out. I'm getting outplayed. It's not good. So need to do a bit of um, tinkering. Well, that first half couldn't have gone much better, to be honest. 22 shots to their zero. They haven't had a shot. Did you know I give it? That's... Um... So basically, you've absolutely outplayed you, Barcelona. You basically Barcelona them. Basically, oh. outplayed them off the park. I think we're passing them to death, to be honest. Sixty-one percent possession. Dembele is having an diff indifferent game. Messi again. We're not getting the best out of Lionel Messi right now. I will say that much. But you're getting, but you're getting the best out of Griezmann. Green mm. Griezmann, yeah. But I just feel like oh, come on, game. I mean, I mean, this will be two games in a row that Messi hasn't scored. That, 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 that's unless, criminal. Unless, unless a free kick on the edge of the box here. This has got Messi written all over it, all over it, and it is Lionel Messi. It is incredible. It is beautiful. Messi at his best. He scored now. He has scored now. Just look at this in three D, people. It the swing on it. The goalkeeper is helpless. It's Messi at his best. Wow. Well done. 
Are you okay? I'm about to see this free kick. It was really uh, good. Yes, it was it's frozen. Good. Ansu Fati's coming on for the final 20 minutes or so. We are looking D-O-M-I-N-A-T. Here we go. Here we go. Another free kick on the edge of the box. Messi's over it again. He go. can't do it again, can he? Oh, he saved it. It's a really good save, actually. He was on target, though. Thank you, Lionel. Are you not moving forward at all? No, no. No, it's slowing down again. Here we go again. Well, you'll have to, here we go. It's fine. You'll it's have just... to listen to me oh, enjoy us winning. Ansu Fatty's come on. He's getting involved there. Griezmann to Arthur on the edge of the box. Arthur wide for Sergio Roberto. Bit of space for the right back to come forward. But we are working it again. Still working it. It'll go to Arthur again. It's a penalty. It's only a bloody penalty, you know. I mean, VAR are having a look here. VAR are having a look. Why are they having a look? Here we look? go again. Here we go again with the VAR as well. The referee decides. The referee decides. It's a penalty. Yes, in And Lionel Messi, I said he, he, he hasn't scored yet. Well, he scored a free kick. And now he might just have two. It's saved. Bollocks. <laughs> You're not moving forward at all? Yeah, it is now, yeah. just need to... It's, um, it's very right. slow. Uh, well, this is not good. This is not good. Lionel Messi's missed a penalty. I, I, I do not believe it. Scores a free kick, missed a penalty. I know. Crazy. Luis Suarez is coming off because he's having another bad game. We'll get Rain it's Manage on up front. Okay, so nothing. Why not? I thought game. I thought Valencia was going to be a really difficult game. I know we're at home, but we have we have dominated them. We've looked very good, very very good. I've got a very tight game here against um, Let It Build Bow. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay, so, well, oh, okay. You wouldn't do that, okay? Well, Should have been. It's over at the new camp. Two nil here. 2-0 to Atletico, finish there as well. So the pressure's on you now, mate. You need to win to keep up to to keep to keep up with the big boys. Okay, so it's not working out. Pretty close. This is a close game. Um okay, let's do a bit of tech let's use use my reputation as a tactical whiz. Um see what happens. Um okay, so let's put he's not it's not working out. I guess it's what happens when you put when you well, you've got one team that puts two defensive midfielders and one puts one. Mm -hmm. What a shocker that they're both cancelling each other out. Yeah, and you are away from home as well. I had a home game, which I think, is particularly in Spain, matters a lot more. Yeah. All right, so we'll we just go back to what we did in the second half last time when we put we put we put like a four two three one and then put Isco and that should in theory make us a bit more of a credible threat. Okay, that's I'm moving the mic. Yeah, your contrast is like apparently his body language is fired up. Probably could he's made some pretty decent saves. So it's like he's done his confidence the world are good. Mm. Right, let's go, boys. Let's get let's get this win. Let's go. Let's go and like, destroy them in the second half. I have joined the game, so I want to see if that makes any difference to your connection. But hopefully it won't. Going down again. But it looks like, to be honest, from what we were speaking about, and this is a reveal for people. That next week we may not have these issues. What's happening next week? That next week we are starting something else. Ah yes, yes. <laughs> so I was just about to say, like, so I'm just so focused on this game working. Okay, it's working now. Okay, come on, come on. Yeah, come on, okay, come now. on, Bill Bow. Oh, Courtois caught it. Getting getting outplayed here. I mean, hang on, you want to break here with Bale? Bale's lost it though. And it's over the top for a Duris. Oh. oh. I think I need to maybe take Bale off in a minute. Yeah, another stinker from Bale. 6.3. Hazard on a 6.4. I might have to consider. If those two aren't playing well, you don't play well, do you? It's as simple as that. Come on, boys. Let's do a bit of... Oh, here we go. Could change here, though. Bale's on a 6.2, by the way, I just saw. Modric whips it in and Benzema. It's a really good save. A really good save from Simon. Uh, here we go. Let's get back into this. God. Well, this is more of a challenge, I guess. Yeah, yeah, definitely. 
especially with the sort of two top teams. So now that I've won, it's like now, now the pressure's on you because if you don't win this, you're two points behind already. And that's, uh, that's how the La Liga title race is, particularly at the start of the season. It's like you expect the big three teams to just win and win and win. And when one drops points, it's like, oh, oh, that wasn't meant to happen. Do you know what I mean? Corner, though. Hang on. Corner, if this, the game decides to play. He, he's taking a long time to put the ball down here, this this corner taker. Yeah, it's like it's frozen or something. Yeah, he's taking a long time. I mean, there we go. He, he then flashed it in really quickly, and the players weren't ready for it, to be honest. Tony Cruz, wide for Hazard, Modric for Bale, who needs to... Oh, Bale. Oh, Bale. <laughs> he's giving it away, and actually they're in over the top again. Aduris again, and Courtois has made another important save for Real Madrid. The Madristas it... in the crowd are starting to get a little bit concerned here. The big players for the big money, Bale and Hazard, are both underperforming. And I'm not sure what manager Stuart Irvine has got up his sleeve here. I mean, he's, so gone, just... he's gone quiet, ladies and gentlemen. He's scared. He's a little bit worried. He's made a change. Gareth Bale off, Vinicius Jr. on. Mm, maybe he's. Oh, come on, game! Don't be, don't be, don't be like this to me. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. And uh, yeah, we're going to give Vinicius Jr. the chance on the right hand side. It seems. I think. Give it a go. I think it's a move. It's a bit, bit of pace. Bit of pace on the it's right hand side. Yes, yeah, Bale's just not. I would say, looking at your bench, you, you don't have many... I mean, you've got Luka Jovic, but you don't have many attacking talents on the bench. No, I think that's the problem with... I, um... could, I mean, Rodrigo, Rodrigo, where's he? Where's Isco? Oh, Isco's on the pitch, sorry. Where's uh, James Rodriguez? Um, I actually don't know. It kind of took over halfway through, so... Um, I don't know. I'll have a look, but... It's okay, here we go. I don't mind. I'll take I'll take a late win at winner. I just need a win. And it's still twenty minutes to go. A lot of time left. And here is Venetius Jr. looking to make an impact. He's hustled off it though. But uh, Bill Bear. Oh, the way uh, back. Hazard giving it away in an awful position. I mean, neither side seemingly wants to win it. Here's Marcelo and Venetius Jr. forces a good save. Good stuff. He's a little better. better though. Yeah, yeah, better. At least he's involved in the game. Bale wasn't involved, was he? Everyone's got to do attacking. It's probably a dangerous what, move. But... If Bilbao had a striker in form, I think they'd be winning this game. Munian coming forward, though. He used to play for Real Madrid. Inaki Williams. Oh, it's a good chance. He's a good player. Good player, Williams. Okay, I've got to take... Um, what's his name off? Um... Do you know the interesting thing with Bilbao? And this is why no one manages them on Real Madrid. Real Madrid, on football manager. Um... Oh, because the whole um, Spanish... Um... Oh, what's it called? They, have to, the be from, they have to be from Bilbao. Anybody who's played there, anybody who, who, who plays for them, has to be born in Bilbao or, or like that area. I can't yeah, what's, what's it called? It. The Basque, Basque, Basque rule or Basque, something? Yeah, yeah. Like they have to be from the Basque area, which is just mad. There's no way they could become a, a force in world football with players that have to be from the Basque area. Because if you look at the team, so all the team is Spanish. I mean, I guess that's good for local uh, the, the the team, like when it comes to uh, you know La Liga and so sort of Spanish the Premier team. League had that though, where like Liverpool, where, like all the teams need to be from the north, all the players need to be from the northwest. I mean, I don't know. I mean, it could. I mean, God, I get the suspicion not... that Real Madrid are about to drop points here. He's made all three changes. Damn, wish we, had, wish we had the point. He can do, but the players, Hazard in particular, letting him down. Hazard, you just. Hmm. Consistency is a key for Edin Hazard, and he's not been consistent. Well, actually, no, he, in these two games, he's been consistent for you, consistently average. I don't, oh, God. Anyway. I don't think he appreciated that, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, it's a free kick here with two minutes to go. It could be some late drama in Bilbao. What's going to happen here? It's Tony Cruz. 
over the free kick. He whips it in. It's gone really slow. Have you turned down the speed? No, that shouldn't be. It just went really slow then, and that was the highlight. The keeper caught it, and that was the end of the highlight. Well, God. The, the problem with the problem with oh god, yeah, I think this is um, this is a uh, not the greatest. I probably I probably get sacked next week. You won't get sacked yet. Wait. Till the I know, but it's like. Uh, have a look. So Hazard yeah. on six point four, Isco at six point four. I mean, Vinicius Junior's come on and done okay, but he he's not enough to be the guy to change a game, is he? That's the problem. Mm. He's yeah. not a game changer. I mean, there's a late highlight here, and it looks oh. like Bilbao coming forward. Yuri to you know Lopez. That was the highlight. Okay. I got excited for no reason, but a nil-nil. <laughs> it's, it's, it's not the worst result in the world. No, I mean, I mean, you're away from home. Bilbao ain't easy to go to, but you are now two points behind your nearest rivals in the Spanish title. It's fine. It's fine. I mean, I'm, I don't, I can't win them all. Um, and to be fair, it's. I think the way, to be fair though, the way they've... Um, on this game, like Bill Bauer, give him credit. It's like the way they set up. Bill Bauer are a decent uh, team. Bill Bauer are a decent yeah. team, to be fair. I mean, it's like they probably should have, especially when they've, what they did is put like two defensive and like, was it like like a block of like, was it, was it four, four, six? Like, at least you got to get past that. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, the whole thing was about counter attacking because you saw like they had two or three good chances from the counter. Yeah. But um, we should have done better, but I just don't. But I, I mean, Maybe this um, defensive thing not working out, so maybe just put the consistent. Maybe you've got to just go to a tactic that works. But um, it seems to be, yeah. Well, apparently the team's not exactly devastated, so it's not as. I don't think it's as bad as um, someone over there is making it out to be. Hey, listen, I'm just, I'm just saying what the Spanish, the, 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 the is it marker, marker in Spain, the newspaper. They would be all over you for that. It'd be, it'd be Madrid misery as they're left behind in the spanish title race barca and atletico steam clear as zinedine zidane waits in the wings for a sensational return i mean i mean that's, that's good headline good. That, that's but pretty good isn't it? Not that, yeah, yeah. yeah yeah good headline but not not the truth no. it's not the truth well i've had a decent it's... start two two nil wins well, and mallorca well, coming up who are bottom of the league i mean <laughs> I think I think well, we should be we should win that fingers crossed. Um, but um, yeah, I think for me it's just a situation of like if I know it's, I think like certain clubs or certain leagues, especially like in Spain. Apparently, if when you listen if you listen to any of um Gary Neville sort of uh, inklings of how Spain's media is, yeah. um, they're more they're more tactical. Yeah. So like they were like so like if I sit there and t it's like anything if I sat there and told them like talked to them like yeah this is why I did it and this is why I changed it and this and explained it. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying journalists are they're just a bit more tactical astute in Spain than they are maybe in England that's not an insult it's just not, not it's at their Marca. culture and stuff. not at Marca uh -uh. they are sensationals at Marca genuinely are we, are, we are, we are we talking about the same thing where you know them um, when you see uh, transfer rumours and it comes in this, what, a certain paper is that the paper yeah 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 that paper yeah, where everyone sort of like always says it, you know, it's a when bit it's, sketchy. When that. it's Real Madrid about to land incredible transfer as Neymar will sign for two hundred million pounds. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah, it's like it's sort of like. I mean, I mean, great question. I just think, if you, would you go for him? I know you probably you can't because your money, but if you had the if you had the money, yeah, he'd he'd actually fill a hole in my team right now. Okay. It's a better, to be fair, it's a better start from a Man United save. I didn't know it went well, so. Hmm. So I'm taking positives out of it. It's just like, I think, I think because when you got, I mean, are you are you trying to change like tactically how they play, or are you just putting out anything that's? I'm I'm trying. I'm just trying to win the league. I want to win everything. I'm trying to start. I I want to I want to start like I know I'm probably going to fail, but you never know. I'm trying to start a, a, a tactical revolution at Real Madrid. Ah, uh, so you're definitely going to fail. Yeah, but yeah. I can try. 
Yeah. I mean, to be fair, how, last person how, I know. How will you feel about the fact that if I win the league over you? Oh, Alex for Bath. Oh, that's a name. I, I, um, I mean, yeah. How will you feel if I win the league over you? The fact that you showed the teams. I'd just be like anyone. I'd just be very bitter and not talk to you for a week. <laughs> I just I just I just do what Pep's face is when you talk to him about um, when you talk about the title race and that he just he looks like a man broken. He's broken inside. I mean, you can see it because he's like he's obviously like a man destroyed. Like he, he doesn't see the same guy. Always made me realise I I'm I'm still here. Mm. It's kind of harsh, but it's kind of um, it's kind of he's such it, a it, I'm not a loser, any Pep Guardiola. Uh, but then funny things, Klopp is but isn't either as well. It's like he doesn't like losing, but he's like he really like gets annoyed. Mm-hmm. I mean, he had that whole thing when the City game, but. Right, hang on, hang on. But anyway, yeah, international but... duty coming up after the next game. So I think we'll only play one more, I think. And then that's yeah, this I week's think... episode. Yeah. We've got to the end of the month. And then there's a two week break for an international break. So, yeah. But, um, yeah, I mean, uh, this has got better than it. Than I think with, um, yeah, uh, the last one went near the end. It was starting to take away the game, like the speed and that. But it seems to be better today. Yeah, but we're at the start of the save. If you remember, the start of the save went well last time as well. Yeah, but I think it's, um, um, I think I've, what I did beforehand, before I started, was turn the internet on. I know it sounds silly, but yeah. And it kind of works better because it's um it's just like anything, mm. use a reboot now and then. So maybe I'll do that every time we do it, and then hopefully, in theory, it should work. But we do have something special planned next week, don't we? So do you want to uh, indeed reveal yes reveal to the world our plans? Indeed, just give me a second. Need to. Um yeah, so if I, if I'm talking about the plans, I think we're talking about. <laughs> um. Yeah, obviously, if if I don't know, but um, yes, with um, if obviously with this football manager stuff we do, um, obviously Carl does the Warsaw save as well. Mm-hmm. But it's not the only. Saddle. Yeah, but it's not the only thing I you do on your on your YouTube channel. No, um, no it is not. It's the, I know, it's this the uh, your to- was it the new Total Extreme Wrestling? Is it Total Extreme Wrestling? Yes, um, twenty 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 has been out for what a couple of months now. Uh, about yeah, about two months, yeah. Um, but obviously, if you've been paying attention, he done a um, he's uh, basically done a totally new thing where he's um, just going for he's going to book all Raw, SmackDown, NXT, all that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. But um, what we're planning anyway for us anyway, what we're planning to do is to do like a sort of like general manager type thing going on or something. Yeah. Like, like basically similar to what this is, but just in that game. Um, and we're we're planning if all goes well to do a twenty uh, twenty sixteen um, with the uh, draft. Uh, because that's when the brand extension was brought back in 2016, and um, we're gonna do basically that's up, do like a battle, like of us, like you know, have it hopefully get that that database, and we can see if we, who's the better GM, pretty much. And that's uh, our pl- that's our plan. The brands, the brands themselves. Who are you looking at? What do you want? I mean, I'm. You know, if you know me long enough, um, you know me. It's like I'm a sucker for SmackDown. Mm-hmm. Um, well, probably because it's when I. That's fine. We have um, already agreed. To be fair, Stuart will be SmackDown. I will be Raw. That will be next week. But before that, I'm sorry. Something's just popped up here. The Champions League yeah, the group draw. stage. I'm going to run through it oh. here. So you be quiet, Stu. You be quiet. That's how uh, rude. <laughs> obviously, the top eight seeds are out there. And Real Madrid are not a top eight seed now, which is weird. You're a second seed team. That's bizarre. Barcelona are, though, because they're the best team in Spain. Um, England and also, have two. And, and also because they got... Eng- England have three top seeds. That's very weird. Anyway, Man City will have Dortmund. PSG will have Shakhtar. Bayern will have Real Madrid. Oh, oh mate. Z- Wait, I didn't do all teams. Oh, well, anyway, so you uh, will have Bayern, Olympic Lyonnais, and Locomotive Moscow. And I've got, where am I? Where am I? Salzburg, Galatasaray, and Ajax. Oh, I'll take that. 
You're a top seed. <laughs> we come on. I know. That's pretty. That's a pretty good group, that, isn't it? That's that's the easiest group. I mean, how, got this, looking at how, it. In, how, how insulting is how insulting is this? When you're in a seed of was it Porto, Napoli, top them, Atletico Madrid, Borussia Dortmund, Shakhtar Donetsk, and fucking Ajax. <laughs> I tell you what, I though. mean, I tell you what, that that group's tough. Bayern is difficult, <laughs> and so is Leon. Leon is very difficult. Oh, of course, I get the group of death. So he's gonna get sacked when he's out of the Champions League. Shouldn't be. I mean, if there's anything <laughs> the there, headline. Um... Sorry, the headline. Barcelona handed easy group. It actually says that. Uh... You are though. Oh god, let's have a look. So it might be a good thing it's near the end of the save because it's starting to um play up again. Here we yeah, go. At the end of the episode, yeah. Okay. But we do have another option where we get to see everything through my side if need be, which we could try out next week. Yeah. It's, uh final game, Mallorca in two days' time. Who have you got? Espanol. Espanol. So two comfortable games. I mean, Espanol have not. Espanol are unbeaten this season. Well, they have a good side, Espanol. I mean, I, I mean, it's, I mean, it's of, two um... draws. It is two draws. But eight, eight. Oh, that's, oh, oh, that's not good. Mallorca, um, Mallorca have lost both of their games. Here we go. Uh, was it? I've just let you know that uh, Karen Benzema has been concerned about playing time due, being reduced in his status as an important player. I played him twice. <laughs> I don't both games. You played him twice. Yeah. Let me, let me have this discussion. I've got to have a meeting with him. Okay, what do you have in mind? Okay. Um, I've been informed that you're planning to demote me. Who are these people? <laughs> it's like, you're planning to demote me from being an important player. I would like to discuss that with you. I'm prepared to go back to the original pub, but expect you to work hard to make sure you earn it. There you go. Sorry. Who are these people? Is my, is my assistant tri- tripping me up again? <laughs> Oh, I can't believe that. Leon by Munich and Lokobotin Moscow. <laughs> right. Are you still there? So, yeah, yeah, I'm still just there. Thought... I am still there. Don't worry. Oh, you son of a... Let's reject that. <laughs> one to white, one... You, how much did you put? You don't even have 61 pounds. <laughs> that would have been cancelled even if I said it. Right, oh, you are just the. Let's let's have him. Let's have him now. You don't need him. No, it's fine. It's fine. I'm gonna I'm gonna tap him up. It's transfer deadline day. <laughs> Should we go for it? So, or we decline it? Oh, I'm declining it. I'm not. That that's basically saying if you want to be part of the media for the day. Yeah, I think I think well, it seems like we both haven't bought anyone. Well, not yet. Well, I, I just, I mean, Mike made the same mistake, but it's like anything. It's different when you're Man United, when you're like Real Madrid. Like, who's like, who is this big play you can get in? It's not like I can buy like a utility player. Yeah, I mean, there's there's someone I've got my eye on. I think. No, you're not having him. So that's, that's why he was coming, sitting there, getting all rowdy. You rowed him up. I'm going to make him so unhappy with his life at Real Madrid. <laughs> How? The guys play... All right. All right. Let's, let's change this. Let's change this. Let's... All right. This is such the master manipulator, aren't you? <laughs> Puppets. <laughs> let's have a look. Let's have a look. What's, the, what's that thing you can do where you can sit there and reject all offers from anyone? Let's, have a, let's do that before... It's probably All right, so let's decline that. Reject all transfer offers. There you go. Let's just shut you up. All right, it's fine. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um... Five million. You put five million. Fair enough. I mean, fair enough. How? How dare you? <laughs> just five million. It's not even worth your time. I'm. I mean, to be fair, that'd be the greatest, probably the greatest transfer in like history to mm. get a player of that quality of five million. But no. Mm. Fair enough. Oh, you're right. Fair enough. Just hope this doesn't come back to bite me in the ass. It probably will. Eighty, eighty million. You don't even have this money. <laughs> you don't even have this money. 
I put the offer in for Benzema, right? And they're like, no, we can't do that. We can't do it. You haven't got the money. You just, I know what you're trying to do. It's, it's, it's classic mind games there. I get it. They've given up on, but yeah, Barcelona have given up on Benzema, yeah. Damn straight. Oh, well, hang on, man. I've got this. Uh, the funny thing is, even if you, if I said, there. even if you said he's yes. Oh, he's got that. He's got that. We'll have that one. We'll have that one. <laughs> Can we get to playing a game, please? Instead of you just trying to <laughs> just like unsettle all my players. Hang on, hang on. I got this. I got this. <laughs> watch this. No, no, no. Watch this. <laughs> uh... You're getting annoying now. This is getting very interesting. <laughs> I can't believe what I'm going to do with this. Um, <laughs> just to see what happens. Oh, my bad. Does it not let me? Oh, James Rodriguez. Oh, you got me all wired up now. James, James Rodriguez is like, um, was being loaned out to Valencia, and I thought it was from you. You've done it. You've made me... F uh, okay. Press conference. I'm not doing that. Is this you actually buying someone, or are you actually just trying to mess with me? I've made an important offer. Please not be me. I'm just, I just, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go like a, like a person that leave me alone. Wait till you see the offer. <laughs> You're just a. <sighs> you rejected it. Well, the Hazard one. Yeah. Of course I would. Did you not see? The, did you not see the offer? Oh, the 100, yeah. One hundred and fifty million. So, no, no, because you know why? Because I put reject all offers. Well, take that off. No. Trust me, you want to see this offer. <laughs> I've seen it, 150 million. I think I've just put a thing reject yeah, to the there's offer. More, there's more to it than that. It's too late now. Tr just trust oh, yeah. me. Just trust me and do it. Potential transfer. What? Uh, I, can't, well, I can't put out the offer now because I rejected it all. Well, I've made another offer. It's been rejected again. Right. Have you, have you, you know rejected why? it for all the players? No, I've just basically put, yeah, all, all, all offers from you have been rejected. It's not happening. So, so for figure all, out. All offers from me in general? All offers for the player, yeah. Oh, just for Hazard, yeah? No, for, no you, you're going to put in the bid. all the players? No, not all the players. I'm just like, every time you put in a bid, I'm just going to put, like, reject it all the time. Because it's annoying. <laughs> Do it. Uh, okay. 150 million. Please. You wouldn't. Even if you did do that, you wouldn't do that. Even if you put Messi, it wouldn't happen. Could they would you hate imagine? you. <laughs> I've got to be honest. I love this. Was it Barcelona off with like 150 million plus Leo Messi? But <laughs> you would be lynched in Barcelona. They would hate you for that. They'd block it. They'd block it. I wonder if it's pissing I mean, him off. It's not. He doesn't. I mean, that, 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 I gotta be honest. That'd be worse than when um, Luis Figo left Barcelona to go to Real Madrid. Yeah. You he literally would. Like, wouldn't go. No, I mean, no one. There is again. It's um, that time of year again where like rumours are swirling. Yeah. Ah, uh, plus Leo Messi. This is getting. This is getting Come tiresome. Come on, <laughs> mate. How old is Lionel Messi? How old is he? How old is he? Hang on, hang on. Lionel Messi. 32. So I'm I'm offering you a 32 year old for a 33 year old. It's just it's just it's just wouldn't happen because there's got to be a catch. And it's to be fair, it. it's probably a catch because one, you haven't got the money, so it's like I'll accept it, and then all of a sudden they reject it. Nah, I'm not buying it, and I know you too well, so. one away have you rejected everything for modric as well yeah <laughs> well i sent you a message yeah yeah i'm gonna respond really well to the same pissy you know <laughs> <laughs> i'm really gonna respond did you like did you like how i wrote it as well like it was a uh um a, a keyboard warrior on Twitter. you 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 really, you really are you really are like a like a yeah you've become one of those um you're, you're a troll you're like a football manager troll And the, a message. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Uh, I'm not responding to that. You're not worth my time. I've got more important things to worry about. Yeah, like that two point gap in the league. 
It's just unbelievable. We just wasted hand well. <laughs> It's well, think about. Worth it. I, th- I think if I was if I was Messi, I'd be like, "Why are you like Why are you putting me in deals <laughs> just to just to mess with the manager?" <laughs> but I'll explain it. And he'd be like, oh, "Fair enough, yeah." <laughs> no, he wouldn't. He'd be like, he'd be like, it, Does that mean I can get more money off my taxes? Yeah, because you got you got like, yeah you got contact in the in the Spanish government so you can get some money off him. <laughs> Who knows? Right. All right. Well, I don't. I don't. I, I, I got my game face on now. Mallorca are gonna. Mallorca are, are gonna, they're gonna get it, all right? They're gonna get it. Gonna, gonna get some. Gonna, all right, hang on. No one said anything. You're not, you're not gonna, you're not gonna get, you're not gonna do the old get these hands uh, and start using wrestling puns. Oh, they've got an 18 year old on loan from Real Madrid. Oh, oh. come on, do us a favour. Well, he's having a kick. Okay, let's do this. Let's play the, the sister beat by the playmaker. Maybe that'll work. Hmm. Let's put a bit more positive because we're, we're, we're attacking because we're home and they would literally boo me if this I don't play he, anything. He has to make changes, ladies and gentlemen, because he was struggling last time out. Whereas me, carry on, boys, carry on. I don't think you even need me. If, if, if I know how this game works, it's like a situation that is working out great now. Yeah, but, but you have a blip. This is the thing, mate. It seems like you don't know how this game works. Well, I draw one game, and all of a sudden, I'm now this like terrible player, like terrible manager. Who My is, God, who you're, is you're, you're, above who in the table? Two games, two games, two games, and two points, mate. That, that, that's that's like that's like sitting there saying like when you know them people that like when like I don't know like Burnley are in the Premier League and they get to win the first two games in the top of the league. It just doesn't mean anything. If Burnley are top of the league after two games, they are top of the league, are they not? <sighs> Yes, but well, it's not. It's, it's, it's what happens at the end of the season that counts. Sure. So it'll be Barcelona top, Atletico Madrid second, Real Madrid third. Mark my words. God, you just. And it'll be Zinedine Zidane back at Real Madrid. Unbelievable. This. Look at that wage. Look at that wage gap. Oh, Bloody hell. Five point five million. If you look, give that, if you put all that... Spe- look, you spend the most money in the division. Out of order, honestly. I know, it's disgusting, mate. So you spend and... £600,000 a week more than I do. Yet you can't beat Atletico Bilbao. And how much money did Bilbao spend? 850k. You're a disgrace, mate. A disgrace. I, I, I am not even Sat touching. In the morning... You're good. You, you wait. You wait until you have your bad one. If this is classified as a bad one, then I don't know what it is. Like this is not a bad one, at all. Sacked in the morning. <clears throat> <clears throat> no, you won't get sacked. Although if you lose to uh, Espanol, questions are going to be asked, mate. Uh, okay, so can I put more players in? It might be Newcastle all over again. Try not to make the same mistake I went made before with the um, registered situation. Oh yeah, <laughs> your fifty million uh, pound centre back that sat in the stand for four months. Uh, Junior's in. Oh, do I want to put? Hmm, see if he can put him in. So it might be better. Okay, confirm. Yeah. So it happens. Either way, I live by die. I live by the sword, die by the sword. So see what happens. Live by the um, sword, die by the sword. Well, it's good. It's a good quote, anyway. Yeah, but I'll, uh, I don't think there are any quote uh, swords involved in football managers. So. Well, no, not yet. But you know, you know, if it gets if it gets that heated, I can't. Especially be- when it, I you- can't believe that Aiden Hazard didn't want to come to Barcelona. I think he's a coward, to be honest. Doesn't want to play for a top team, does he? Maybe just he wants. Maybe just wants to manage. He wants to be a part of a, a better club and probably a better manager. Oh, know? but then he would come to Barcelona because you are two points behind, mate. <laughs> well, that makes you a better manager now. Should, should I should I forget your um, last save? <clears throat> there wasn't a last save. This is this is new. This is the world we're in. I'm not actually going to make a change. I have no need to make a change. We killed one of the best teams in the league. Now we've got technically the worst team in the league. 
I'm just going to put my feet up. Enjoy this training session. I, I hope they destroy you now. Because <laughs> you imagine they're going to beat me now, aren't they? <laughs> All right, so I've changed it up. I put, um, Isco, I'll, I'll start with a 4 2 3 and put Isco. Just because um, when he's on, we play better. So right. Again, if it goes bad, I can put, like, you know, put everyone. If it goes it's, bad, to... then you blame yourself. So I get it. No, no, I've got no, I've got a contingency plan. If there's something I know about me, I'm, I have a plan. Have you plan actually I've got pl attacking players on the bench this time? Of course, I have. Oh Not God! Tipped. Is it James Rodriguez? Where is he? Did you register him? Yeah, I did. He didn't. I bet he didn't. I bet he didn't. <laughs> no, I did. Bet yeah, he didn't. I did. But... Actually, I actually learned. I actually learned from my mistakes. Oh, the head, my head of youth development is Patrick Cliver. Oh, that's pretty cool, actually. Oh, I love Patrick Cliver. Ledge. Where's Xavi? Is Xavi still here? Where's Xavi? I want to, I want Xavi. No, he's, Xavi. he's, he's a um, manager in El Sad. Mate, come, come to me. Well, you got to be careful, mate, because he might he's, be taking your job soon. Apparently, he's not interested, so. Because so. in real life, he's, I think, if it, unless it's all rumours, he's, he's um, accepted the real uh, Barcelona job. It's like he's coming back. Where's Iniesta? Andres Iniesta no, not... should be in. Oh, is that him? Oh my God! There's a football club in Spain called Ciudad Deportiva Andres Iniesta. Well, to be fair, he's amazing. So I wouldn't surprise me the entire football team around. Oh, but um, are you uh, ready go... to lose yet? Or what? God, lack of patience, my friend. Lack of patience. All right, let's give this a go. Submit the team, and let's go. Right, here we go. Barcelona versus RCD Mallorca. That's a defensive formation. The 4-5-1. They're terrified, as they should be, because Messi and co are here to kill. Pick up where you left off, boys. It's a simple one. It's a simple one. Make it nine points from nine. End the episode nicely. Another Griezmann goal will make it three from three, which will be brilliant. I'd like Suarez to get a goal, to be fair, but hey-ho. Here you go. We are five minutes in and it is 1-0 to Barcelona and it's Antoine Griezmann again. How do you feel, uh, No, I'm just, I'm just shocked. That I've never seen such a weird formation in my life. Um, the team I'm playing against, uh, was it, they put a four, was it a 5-2-2-1 defensive? Oh God. I, I have never seen, I mean, that is a weird... Am I only missing a player? Am I just am I just going blind? That's like I can't. That is a. They are. Yeah, they're playing exactly like you're playing. Just gonna hold out. Exactly like I'm playing. Man, I'm I'm going attacking. I'm 15 minutes in. We're coming forward again here. It's the young on the edge of the box. It's wide for uh, Junior. Can he find a cross? He has done. And Suarez heads over from six yards. Head the ball, Louis. Don't bite it. Head it. Do it for the fan. Midfield, I want you to, to control. I want that's done well. I want them to grab some goals. Good. And defensively, I just want them to put a solid effort. There you go. All teams motivated. So that's, it, that's I, how you do it. As you kick off, I can let you know that Barcelona are winning and Atletico Madrid are winning. So the pressure's back on you, mate. No pressure. You need to win to just make it two point gap, or else it could be a four point gap. Atletico are 2 0 up. All right, here we go. This is good. All right, so the first... Come on, game. Come on. You know you want to work. Here we go. Yeah. Here we go. Dominating, as you expect. Oh! Espan... Espanol, what is that kit, though? Griezmann has just hit the bar from 40 yards. He is incredible in this game. Half-time at the new Camp. Barca 1, Mallorca nil. 15 shots for Barca. Not one for Mallorca. Don't get complacent, boys. Let's kill them. Kill them. Kill them. Kill them. Got to be careful what you say to players, mate, if you start saying the word kill them. Where's that Real Madrid guy? Is he playing? Ah, he's on the bench, look. Because he's crap. Oh, okay. I mean, Suarez again is on a 6.4. It's not good enough, Louis. It's just not. You're coming off for the 18-year-old. The 18-year-old's getting some game time, because why not? Oh, okay. Here we okay. go again. 
Roberto to Arthur to De Jong. Good ball in. And who's been down? Are we going to score a second goal, boys? Are we going to score a second goal today? How are you getting on, Stu? Uh, it's two twenty minutes and still nil nil, but um, look, it's looking hopeful. <laughs> it's looking hopeful. You sound like a Villa fan every game. It's looking hopeful. Oh, look, that's good. That's that's my life right now. Messi whips in the free kick. Gerard Piquet at the back. Two goals in two games for Gerard Piquet. Ah. Oh. Actually, no, he didn't score in the last game. It was the first game. But still, two and three for Gerard BK. And that's the game wrapped up, mate. Feeling any pressure, Stu? No, oh, not at all. <laughs> yeah, I'm actually not. Are you sure? Because um... Gerard PK's just scored another one. <laughs> I, 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 forgot how, I, I forgot how cocky you get when you're doing well. Gerard PK has just scored two in three minutes. <laughs> what is this game? <laughs> Luis Suarez can't score in three games. Gerard Piquet has scored three in three games. It's weird, right? It's oh, weird. No. Edge of the box, Messi maybe, not quite. We're looking for four here with five minutes to go. De Jong to Arthur, back to Frankie De Jong. We just need to find a tiny bit of space. Griezmann's got a bit of space. I mean, we've worked it wide, actually. This might be four here. De Jong, edge of the box, maybe crack a shot. Are we going to... Is anyone from it's like watching Arsenal this pass 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 free kick red oh look Alex Fabas has been red carded for Mallorca he used to play for Real Madrid and he's off Atletico are 3-0 up Barca are 3-0 up and Real Madrid are oh look they're nil nil ah nil nil they're struggling again oh mm, shame weird Go, oh, look at him go. Oh, look at him go. Has one. Right, here we go. It's all gone quiet over there. It's all gone quiet over there. Fine, it's fine. We can't uh, hear you anymore. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna join in. I'm gonna make my way to the Bernabeu. Ah, uh, here we go. <laughs> yeah, just take, take on the transporter. You know, just transport over. Oh, all of a sudden it slows down. I'm sat in, I'm sat in the stand. I'm, I'm uh, enjoying. I want Espanol your technology. To green, green kit. Hazard to Tony Cruz. Hazard. I mean, you just can't beat the goalkeeper, can you? What was that? Did I just like deflect or something? I went like, you know, weird that was. I don't know. What <laughs> do? You're coming forward. There's a goal coming here, to be fair. Looking at the stats, you are going to get a goal here. Goalkeeper's doing well. Give me... i got to be honest, goalkeeper's doing really well, though. Give yeah. me that. Bail. Bail. Oh. Imagine if it's Gaza Bale. You still started Bale, by the way, after two stinkers. Yeah. Giving him a chance today. He looks a bit more lively, I'll tell you that. Yeah. He's having a better game okay. than Hazard. Yeah, I think it's because I've given a bit. I've put Isco in the, in the middle, so it gives him a bit more. Hmm. Oh, less to do. Or got, I don't know, because I was like, put a little bit less pressure on him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Once he gets the ball, he can play his own natural game. Yeah. Let's have a look. Let's see Added if time in the first time. half. I mean, Espanyol are coming forward here. Ferreira. Vargas. Vargas. Imagine the scenes. <laughs> I love you. Every time I have a shot, it's like, oh my God, what a shot. It's amazing. Okay. Espanyol okay. have got okay. Naldo. Do you remember Naldo? He's played for Volsa. Uh, not... uh, no. No. What's up, Med? Oh, God. Game. So, let's have a look. Okay. The problem is, we're playing good football. We're getting in there. It's just the top chances are, like, not putting them away. And that's what football's about, mate. Football is about scoring. You can't win a game if you don't yeah, score a goal, Michael Owen. Don't, don't Michael Owen it. <laughs> I mean, if it, talk about Michael Owen, just for the change. If you ever want to listen to, like, a good interview from him, because um, you never hear good ones from him, because there's only negative press. But um, yeah, go on Jamie Carragher's podcast and listen to him interviewing him. Yeah, um, I, it changes. It, it you still don't sort of like him, but you kind of like understand his situation and kind of like you know he's not a complete dick. Yeah, let's have a look. Um, what's working? It's just need prefer. So I just got. To, I just got to trust honestly, it. genuinely, yeah, trust it. Keep going. How are you going? A goal will come. 
goal. If they were looked, on. but I mean Benzema maybe is probably the option I'd look at. Maybe Luka Jovic give him a chance if Benzema's not playing that well. But a goal will come. Is this is you should be serious or just being really sarcastic? Genuinely serious, genuinely. I mean, he's God. having save after save. It's, yet somehow you've only had six shots on target. I'm not buying it. It's, get, it's like it's you know that thing they say about F, um, was it FM? You being FM'd? Yeah, you are being FM'd a little bit. Okay. Actually, good. now you said that, cut. I have had games like this where you just can't score. You just can't score. And Espanyol are going to score like an 82nd minute winner. I don't need that in my life. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I really don't. I need... Because the 20... It's not the worst, but it's not... Oh, come on, game. It's like a game's like trying to purposely do this for me. Uh, anyway, it's all good, though. It's all good. But it's always going to be tricky. Well, I mean, yeah, speak for yourself. It's quite comfortable for me. Yeah, but you Barcelona when you're messy, you got any chance. I know. Okay, you just, I just need a win. Here we go. Oh, oh, he, that was the highlight. That was fun. Yep, I, I always like seeing a free kick go um, bouncing off the wall. <laughs> what is wrong with this game? Anyway, yeah. here we go. Here you go again. Bale's having oh, a good a game, ball. genuinely. Tony Cruz, Marcelo from the edge of the box. Marcelo, I mean, I haven't seen Be Benzema have a shot at all. I don't think he's it's not, not playing game, bad. It? It's not, we're not playing bad. That's the problem. It's not like we're playing like awful. Hmm. It's not like we're playing like, you know, like you, you think, oh, we're not scoring because we're playing bad. It's just. Just not scoring. There you go. Oh. Edin Hazard off the mark for Real Madrid. They needed that. I've got to be honest though. That was um great cross for Modric. This is the quality. Look at that. That's a good touch as well. Uh, there you go. That's all we need. Uh, that's what we need is, you know, hopefully it starts the floodgates. Just open the floodgates. Oh, Varane's got a knock. He's, off, a the, he's off the pitch right now. You've only got one centre-back and Ramos has decided to play left wing with, oh God, they're <laughs> coming forward actually. Genuinely. Oh, I imagine if they score that. Oh, oh my God. God. He got, he got the cocky. <laughs> I can't believe he did Sergio that. Sergio Ramos looked at the space and went, ah, they won't score this fight. <laughs> what is he doing? Uh, oh, my word. What's Varane's injury? Yeah, is it Bruce Knee? But... Oh, is it Bruce Knee? Yeah, but I'll take him off just to make sure. All right, Modric, see, Modric. Okay, see, let's go. Here we go. Here comes the ball. Oh, that that's the ball. Benzema, maybe. Oh. Oh. It's the pub. I mean, oh, here we go. There are, there's more goals in this game for you here. There is more goals for you. It might be Bale. No. We'll have to take a corner then. Is it going to be big old Sergio from the back? It's not. It's not big old Sergio from the back. I mean, you are dominant, genuinely, but you just. There's no cutting edge, no clinical finishing, is there? No. I think I think it might be worse when it's like you've got. Um, I put. Benzema is a deep line. Maybe I've got to put him as a complete forward. Mm. Maybe more attacking. Maybe mm. you've clicked. So he's on, in the you've, you've clicked on your tactics, haven't you? While it's playing in the background because it's really, really slow on my screen. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, maybe that's why because it's like uh, we're putting on a costume, and I was in. It's because he's playing a uh, defense sort of like deep lining. So mm. it's like he's he's not doing anything. So maybe if he's like up in the box more, maybe it might mm. might get more goals. Let's hope this tactic works. All right, let's have a look. There you go. Great. Oh, this goal was rude. That was that would have been fabulous ball, but hang on a minute. They might come forward here. They've got a bit of possession. What's this? They've worked it wide. Vargas away from Carvajal. Crossed in. Oh. Oh. oh so they're going to have. You know, you know my luck, isn't it? I mean, to be fair though, uh, Contra is actually really good. On this. Great goal. Very, very FM. Courtois cool is very good on this, yeah. Yeah. All right. You need a second goal here, I think. Not you ain't getting that. That's awful. For oh, that, God. You, I think you, I th feel like you need a second goal with twenty minutes to go. There's just, just a sneaking suspicion they're going to get something. Unless you get something here, get a goal here, and it's over. Oh, there you, there you go. go. There you go, Isco. That's 
that's to be an, oh, I do like I think I'm just a massive I just think he, he can control the game so well mm. but look at that it's just like look at that space he had though it's like shocking just give it to him he said boom mm-hmm. keeps like oh crap there you go. okay that's good that's good very so, good very good I mean it's one of those games you're not gonna it's not gonna be like it's not looking like you know like a, amazing like you know just thumping him but it's like it just shows that we've we grind them down slowly and we've got through them just 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 at the right time mm-hmm so it's not, it's 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 more of a if you're a tactician or like tactics, this is good performance. But for like Real Madrid fans, they might not love it. But but a win's a win. They'll be happy with a win. Yeah, I mean, but you, when it, it's definitely more about how they play with, with Real Madrid. Hmm. Barcelona's the same as well. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you might have three here. It'd be the perfect end to the episode for you, even though you are two points behind. Uh, Carvajal, Modric, Cruz. I mean, you're like me, where it's like somebody take a shot for God's sake. It's, it's literally just the same over and over again, isn't it? That's a good ball in. Oh, Hazard should score that. Well, it's, pretty good. it's, it's a good I mean, win. I'm, I'm happy. Good win. You've had, you've had nearly 40 shots. 30. Hang on. Oh, Hang okay. on. Hang on. Oh, great save. He's been brilliant. I've got to be honest. He's been... I mean... He's, he's, he's one... He looks comfortable, though. I say that and then... <laughs> But it's like every time I shot, it's like it's either at him or it's like straight at like Yeah, yeah, it doesn't look comfortable like comfortable seeding, does he, to be fair? I say that. I'm and then they're gonna score. <laughs> yeah. They're gonna score well, didn't they? All right, okay. That's good. Good game. Good fit. good FM. Do your job. Good FM. Good boy. Well, well okay. I mean it's a good win then. A good win, unless yep. oh, no. I, th- I think I think for me it's like I might have found something that kind of works. Hmm. It's a run of it's I a mean, run of the mill victory, isn't it, really? But that's the sort of victories that get you titles by the end of it. These yeah. two nils, easy, comfortable, job done. Well, to be fair, everyone's looked better. It's like obviously, uh, was it Bell looked better? Hazard's looked a bit more threatening. Mm-hmm. Um, there we go. Two two nil. I'll take it. Take that all day long. Take that all day long, and that will be at the end of a very successful first episode for us, apart from Stu dropping two points to Athletic Bill there because he's... That's not, that's, that's not... That's a good result. I don't care what you say. I mean, it, it could, that could point be, be by the end of the season. That, imagine. I mean, that could be... You know, you just got... If I think the perfect result, so you're always saying football, is like, um, if you can't win a game, don't lose a game. Uh, you know what? I agree with you. If you can't win a game, don't lose a game. Or just don't lose a game in general, to be fair, mate. Ooh, that didn't go down well. You had a bad team talk. <laughs> yeah. All right, that's 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 to save this. I'm impressed by how you go. Oh yeah, that's good. I'm gonna leave that. <laughs> that's sort of, that's sort that out for the next episode. That's fine. <laughs> I can't bother you right now. Well, top of the league, mate. I'm enjoying my life. Am I top of the league? Yes, I am. By a goal. I haven't conceded really? either. Hmm. Have I? Yeah. Don't... No. I don't think you have it. I mean, I mean, it's it's one of these things. It's like look at the table. It looks like oh, two points drops. Like ah, oh, it's terrible. But I mean, I'm happy. Very played. It's not. It's not going to be. It's not. It's not flashy or spectacular, but it works. Yeah. I mean, I think I think I, think, I, think I found something now with the um, if I put the Isco in that middle behind the striker, mm-hmm. and then maybe put Benzema mm-hmm. instead of being behind more in the box. Yeah. Um, and the crosses are better. We should be. We should get better. But yeah, I'll take it. It, it could be worse. It could be like you know, fit like you know fifth mm-hmm. or something. Cause like I haven't lost a game yet. Yeah. Um, you're gonna drop points at some point. So. Well, maybe not. You know, maybe not. Well, we'll find our next episode. But this, yeah. this is this is more like it. This is more like it. I like this. It's even. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. If you enjoyed this, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel for more. Next week, we are doing something a bit different. It'll, it'll be sort of concurring week so one week it's this the next week it's the 2016 save Stuart you've proven that you're you're pretty good football manager I mean that's good for me but you're pretty good let's see not competent yeah let's see how you do as a wrestling booker shall we well I think I've got a feeling I'll be quite good at that as well you know I think I've, um, I've watched wrestling enough to over the years to um, have some sort of working knowledge at work so be interesting arrogance ladies and gentlemen arrogance if you like the video make sure you like the video subscribe to the channel for more i'll i'll sign off Stu. oh no i'll sign off and then Stu can sign off peace to me and Stu.
Hey, bye everyone. Hope you enjoyed and see you next see you soon. Bye.